Welcome back to the White Noise Podcast. I'm Ethan, joined by Princess Peach. That's, that's me? That's you, Paul. Yeah. Oh. Or Princess Peach. I don't think you could do the bit with everybody. It's just Gavin. I know, but <laughs> it works with Paul because he's been on so many times. And as always, Jacob behind the glass. Because my ass. Yes, the peach. Um, <laughs> Jacob behind the glass. Hello. And today we have a very special guest, uh, a special guest who is very special. Uh, my good friend, Cameron. Hello. Uh, Cameron is a great friend of mine and a great friend of the show. And actually, he's known Gavin since kindergarten. So we'll get into that Way too later. Long. Way too long. Nice. Uh, how you been, Ooh. Cameron? How, how was the drive? Pretty good. Uh, all of three minutes. Not bad. He didn't fly? He didn't fly. No, because oh. he lives three minutes away. So he didn't have to fly. That's good. Convenient. Yeah. yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't live in Ohio or Illinois or whatever I did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and, uh, before everyone was here, it was me and Cameron, and we were talking about a very, uh, sensitive subject, uh, the movie Tenet. Oh, so <laughs> You oh get all boy. your hate out in the well, beginning. Cameron no. loves oh. Tenet. I really like Whoa. that movie. I really, really enjoy but that movie. But Cameron is a, is a music guy, and he loves the soundtrack of Tenet. He loves oh. the music of Tenet, which... That's my main bias. Which I... is fair, because my main criticism of that movie is... The sound and music was way too loud. I can't hear any speaking. <laughs> so it's funny that two sides of the same coin. Is it know. still on streaming services? HBO? Probably. I might watch it. I think it's on HBO Max. I have not seen it outside of the theaters. I might have to look at it outside of the theaters because my main criticism was I can't hear anybody speaking. Maybe it was my specific theater, but I think it's the movie all around. Plus, it's not a good movie. I'll La- watch it. Last night, we were at the gym, and we are talking about... Um, Dark Knight, all the Batman movies. I was like, you know, Tenet might actually be pretty good. <laughs> I did not say that. That's all I you sa- said. No, I said, no, said that. I think I give, I feel bad for giving Tenet like such a bad rap. You should watch but it again. But it's only because I expect so much more from Christopher Nolan. I, ke- I put him at a higher standard than any other director in Hollywood. Okay, then next time you watch the movie, don't watch it as a Christopher Nolan movie. Mm. Just watch it as a movie. Then it's a, then it's a bad movie. No. Just kidding. Um, no. Bec- and then I watched Dark Knight Rises last night, and it's just like, damn, Tenet sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better than Dark Knight Rises? I don't think so, but. I think so. You think Tenet's you think no, Tenet's Dark Knight better? No, Dark Knight Rises is way better. My yeah, bad. no, that's what I think too, but. Dark Knight Rises is better. Inception really like is better. Tenet. Memento is better. Mm. Batman Begins is better. Dark Knight's better. It might be better. Tenet might be better than Dunkirk, but because Dunkirk was a little slow. I only saw that movie once. I don't even remember. Yeah, it was slow. Never. But, uh, okay. Well, is that our with that being beef said, out of the way? I, that's, I guess it's our <laughs> Tenet beef. I just want to s- remind people that Tenet is not a good movie. It is. Uh, look at that. But you're second-guessing yourself now. I'm not second-guessing myself. It's just, I'm, uh. You're thinking about it. Not, well, I was thinking about you it, and I watched The Dark crack. Knight Rises, and I was like, oh, yeah, Christopher Nolan's way better than You want to give it another crack, for sure. I, I might check it out again, and I will update you guys on that. And uh, with that being said, uh, Jacob, let's uh, shine a light on that. And we're back. Speaking of backs, we're back with <laughs> uh, a little bit. So <laughs> la- <laughs> last week, way back last week, there oh you go. God. Just kidding. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> when I when I said we're back, I was just thinking about Bane breaking Batman's back. Um, it's pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. That's a part great, best great part scene. of the scene. Or great best part, scene. Best scene of the movie. I think so too. And then the just Tom, Tom Hardy's dialogue in that movie is mm. just so seductive. Like you said, it's just so, yeah. ah, it's awesome. It's like smooth butter. It makes you root for him. He's a bad guy. Yeah. He's so cool. I feel out of the loop. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Wait, Dark Knight what? Rises? You're a liar. Oh, that's what we're talking about? Yeah. Oh. What do you think we were talking about? <laughs> no, I thought we were talking about like Tom Venom. Hardy. I heard Tom Hardy. Like, <laughs> oh, Venom? Tom Hardy just <laughs> breaks <laughs> everyone's <laughs> bag. <laughs> Warrior. Uh, Warrior. That's a good movie. movie. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Um, I actually saw something that said... According to a recent survey, Tom Hardy is the hardest actor for Americans to understand. Oh my gosh. Have you seen, is it Legend? I've not seen Legend. Where Tom Hardy plays the both the brothers. And like one has glasses and like a little bit of, I dude, 
I was I was so taken out of it just because of the way he speaks. Like you can't understand anything. I had to turn on the subtitles, and it made me really mad because I was really excited for that movie, and I feel like I don't like it just because I can't understand him. Yeah, I think a lot of it comes from Bane. He could be hard to understand to some people. All all, all of his movies, and pretty then much. like his Venom voice is hard to understand. And then if he ever speaks in his normal English accent, that might be hard for Americans to understand. Listen to him in Peaky Blinders. He's hard <laughs> to understand as Alfie. I like Tom Hardy though. I do too. He's also like five eight. That's true. He is. Really? He's only five eight. Oh my god. What do you mean only, bro? <laughs> 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 he seems like he'd be like six one or six two. Dang, so that's what he had, he had to <sighs> wear. Uh, he had to wear like platform shoes as Bane to be face to face with. I was like, there's no way Bane's five eight. Imagine that. Be, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you watch the movie, a lot of his close ups are from a low angle. Yep. So yeah, I've seen Lord of the Rings. I know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so how they did it? <laughs> what? Like oh, no. the perspective shots? Yeah. yeah. Force perspective. Yeah, that. Um, Ask Patrick, and then he made a little B word about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, that little tangent there. Uh, right. Last week, we talked about Spider-Man <laughs> freshman year, and I said, oh, it's MCU canon, whatever, whatever happened. And then San Diego Comic-Con happened, and I was even more confused of what the heck Spider-Man freshman year was. And I was still trying to figure it out until earlier today. I got a clear def- clear explanation of what Spider-Man freshman year was. It is an animated show that takes place if Norman Osborn was Peter's mentor instead of Tony Stark. And that's the show. So premise. it's a what if? It's kind of like a what if. Okay. <clears throat> it, I don't have know like, if I'm a fan of the what ifs. It'll have a, I've never seen them. I've, yeah, I don't really care for You them. don't need to. So know, it's yeah. just <laughs> random like. Um, They're doing a what if season two now and. They're it's, just pumping out material. It's what if. It's what ifs. So it's animated? Yeah, it's an animated show. Any big names? Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, I, I think a, a lot of the MCU counterparts are voicing the characters. Oh, really? Except Tom Holland, I guess. Or get Willem Dafoe? No, he won't be Norman Osborn. Unfortunately. Okay. So. But Charlie Cox is playing Daredevil's voice, oh. as well as he's returning as Daredevil We're in his own again? Daredevil... It, right series yes um that was one of Mar- i think that's my favorite announcement that marvel made this past weekend me too um, i'm re-watching daredevil just for that i love daredevil never seen it it's great it's a great show <laughs> here it's great um so that charlie charlie cox is voicing daredevil in the spider-man freshman year show shout out brett and he's also appearing <laughs> in the she-hulk series coming out in august oh my gosh i can't wait in his iconic red and yellow costume and um, it's the most excited I've been in, uh, about Marvel in a, in a long time. Is Charlie Cox coming back as Daredevil? Everything else I don't really care for. Exactly. And that gets us to, once again, the state of the friggin' MCU. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See, here I am looking at all these different announcements. Marvel, Kevin Feige, lining up all these movies, you know, saying Phase 4 is going to end with Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And then it'll start phase five. And then they announce two Avengers movies coming out the same year. What the heck? So they're uh, starting, yeah. the, they're dubbing this stage, I think, uh, phases four through six, the multiverse saga. Just like phase one through three was the Infinity Saga. Um, and then, you know, it's just, I found myself looking at these movies, like seeing that they're making a Fantastic Four movie, seeing Avengers, two Avengers movies coming out in the same year. Um, Damn, that's all weird. The, all these different projects and found myself like not really excited. It's it's very watered down at this point. It's the Star Wars sequel arc for Marvel fans. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. It's not that I think it's like just going to be horrible. It's just I'm not interested in getting to know other characters. Yeah, it's just, just too much. Sort of, I, yeah. it, I think all good things should come to an end, and they're not ending it. Well, yeah. What what ruined it for me is like you have to watch all these these shows. Yeah, just to keep it is, it's like too. dude, I can't. I don't have time. I think that's kind of where I stepped out of it as well because I remember I watched WandaVision. I actually really liked WandaVision. That was like the first one. And then too, I tried right? watching. Yeah, it was one of the first ones. I tried watching Loki. I wanted to see that one. It's just with all the multiverse stuff. I was like, oh, this is hard to keep track of. It's hard to enjoy. Yeah, it's, it's like now like, it's like homework. <laughs> that's what it is. You have to watch all these shows to kind of. Feel in the loop. Yeah. Necessi- like, um, like there, before Infinity War, like it was just like what a movie Iron every Man. two years, couple months, right? Or, yeah, I think as of, longer. as of 2016, it was three movies a year. 
yeah, so it's like, you know, a big movie comes out, you got a couple months to go see it, people are talking about it, and then the next movie in a month. And now with all these shows, it's like every week something new is happening. Yeah. If you fall behind, then you're just like, okay, I'm I'm out. Like <laughs> 2022, you have Moon Knight, Thor Love and Thunder, Doc- Doctor Strange 2, She-Hulk, Wakanda uh, Forever. Holy moly. It's like all those things you have to keep up with, and they all kind of correlate with each other. And they're just introducing all these new characters, these very niche characters that are like buried in comic books. And you're like, I, I have no idea who you are. And they're doing it just to do it because, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's just money now. Yeah. You don't always even need it. Like, Doctor Strange 2, right? Yeah. I didn't watch WandaVision at all. Uh-huh. And I knew everything I needed to know just from the movie about, yeah, like, what happened with so Wanda. WandaVision. is just unnecessary at yeah. that point? Or is it just for the fans that want to watch it or filler. just more content? Filler. Yeah, filler. Um, really trying to make it, like, comic-y. You can buy a comic and go through all these issues yeah. where like all this background stuff happens. Now they're just bringing it to the TV. Exactly. I don't know if I like that. I don't think there will ever be end game hype in mm. the MCU no, again. I, don't, no. I think the closest thing was No Way Home, but that's because of nostalgia. Andrew Garfield, cameos. Tobey Maguire, and that's that's well, what carries I just the think movie. there's never going to be an arc like that again, where yeah. it's so well defined and now it just feels like. Whoever's working on the solo movies doesn't know what's going to happen next or what's going to happen before that. Mm-hmm. Like the the Thor movies, for example. That even happened with Ragnarok a little bit. Like Thor had this great arc in Ragnarok, and then it just all gets taken away and forgotten about in Infinity War and Endgame. Like right at the beginning, yeah. too. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Like literally. <laughs> so it's a matter of do these, do these writers of these solo movies even know what's going to happen with the characters or where the bigger picture is, or are they just writing one movie at a time. I, I do like the idea of like the Infinity War arc and then the multiverse arc. That's kind of cool. Like maybe yeah. after it's all over, you can look back and be like, oh, okay, I guess it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I just feel like since we've already had the Infinity War arc and like we're in it, we're in this whole multiverse yeah. thing, it's like, uh, and it's, it's too much. The big bad of this Doctor Doom is uh, King, King oh. the Conqueror. Oh, that's what it is. And uh, that would have been sweet. cool. He's going to, I think he's already appeared in something. He's in, he was in Loki. He was in Loki, okay. Loki um, I did watch. I like that one. So he appeared in Loki, but then he's going to be a more prominent role in the next Ant-Man movie. And that's where he'll be like his big introduction to the next big thing that's going to happen. Um, and from what I heard, there's going to be multiple variants of him too, which I also hate the concept of variants mm-hmm. because Aww. then any character can do anything. any Anything can happen and it just becomes Kind of takes the stakes away. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, technically, it's Robert lazy. Downey Jr. can come back as Iron Man because he's just a different variant. It's lazy writing. Yeah. That's well, what it is. As Deadpool said, lazy writing. It's Ryan Reynolds right there. <laughs> um, All this yeah. time bull crap. I think it's exactly. the only way to kind of recapture anything close to the same feeling that happened with, like, Infinity War, Endgame, and all that. You got to, like, cut out as much of the old as you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, all red's still in it. You got... True. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just like starting over. Yeah, like Falcon thing. and Winter Soldier, mm-hmm. like they're still in it, so it's like kind of still tied together. Mm-hmm. Where if you're gonna start new and you want to kind of create that same experience, like it's got to be new, a reboot type thing is, or like just younger. Watching, right now we're just watching a really long <laughs> epilogue. Yeah, I yeah. think the MCU can prologue. like That's use what, a yeah. serious break, uh-huh. like where they don't make anything for like two. Years. Like they should, like technically they could have make their own X-Men in Fantastic Four universe. Like, since they haven't used those characters mm-hmm. in, as Disney, yeah. maybe just do those ones and make that their next big, like, Avengers thing. And right. Wait, wait. Isn't X-Men still with Fox, or do they get them back? Yeah. They got yeah, them back. Right. back years ago. It, it was finalized, like, two years ago, but... That's what it was. Um, yeah, so, like, now Logan and the Deadpool movies are on Disney+, Plus, being the first oh, R-rated movies yeah. on Disney+. I Plus. forgot about that. Okay. Nice. I actually, this is a tangent. I got a I got a text from my friend Joe. Shout out Joe, earlier today. Um. And it was about Logan, and he he texted me and Gavin. He was on the show a couple of months ago. Uh, he says, "Does anybody else sometimes forget it's Logan that died and not Hugh Jackman?" <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. And he said, uh, "Like a Hugh Jackman." Insta post popped up on my feed today, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's still alive. He's not just Wolverine anymore, <laughs> <laughs> or he's still alive. He's just not Wolverine anymore." Um, and I thought that was that was funny. Hugh Jackman's so good. He can do everything. Hugh Jackman's a 
a nice guy. It's he's like a really nice guy, but he plays Wolverine, which is funny. Because Wolverine's supposed to be like five five. That's true like too. Six fucking two. Exactly. Force perspective. Look at that full circle. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going for. I'm glad you picked it up. Um, but yeah, uh, MCU. Hugh Jackman's jacked. I feel as well with the MCU. He, uh, there's there's only so many characters that people actually care about. Oh yeah. Because they're introducing all these new characters, but yet people are still asking like, oh, who's Wolverine going to be in the MCU? Or oh, who's who's the Fantastic Four going to be? These very well established, well known characters that people actually want to see. Or th- that's why Spider Man movies make way more money than Eternals. Like, yeah. Ten new characters that nobody. <laughs> it's just like the main superheroes. Exactly. Movies. It's it's the iconic superheroes that people like and want to see and it's hard to to get away from that when you just throw random characters into that universe like jacob said of just keeping just make better like characters this continuous thing exactly make them um, more interesting well they can make them interesting but if they have ant-man and winter soldier and falcon in there there's still that remnants to the the old characters that people love i mean right now honestly like eternals because it was like a marvel movie I didn't want to watch it. Like, maybe if it if Marvel, the label was like nowhere near that, I'd be like, "Oh, it's what, what's this movie about?" <laughs> but since Marvel's on there, I'm like, "Okay, I'm not gonna even try to understand this movie. I'm not gonna be invested in this. I'm not watching all the is, other ones." So I actually I'm liked Eternals. Did you? you yeah. You know really? Like, you know what I don't yeah. like is I don't like how everyone's a fucking superhero now. Yeah. Like everybody, Johnny Depp's gonna be the next superhero. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, it takes me out of it. Like Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Like, exactly. That's the only thing I didn't like about Eternals. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that, that scene and I was like, yeah. I hate Eternals. But now. it's just like Every Angelina Jolie's celebrity. in it now. I know. It's like and that's, that's a huge thing I was talking about a couple days ago is what made the Infinity Saga so great is they were casting these no names at the time as these big characters like uh, Chris Hemsworth, who is not a well-known actor at all. Now he's one of the biggest actors. Um, Robert Downey Jr., his career was just going down, and then Iron Man helped revive that. And then Chris Evans, who wasn't as well-known, and just casting those actors. And Chris Pratt's big break. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson was the only one, like, well-established to be in Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Samuel Jackson. Chris Evans was, to a degree. I mean, he was a previous superhero. But is he as big as... <laughs> and he was also known <laughs> for, like, his, like, comedy yeah, yeah. He, was, he was known for, like, being the... Rom-com guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then plays Captain America, which is completely a 180. Yeah, he actually had to act in that one. I know. He Could did have to act. Because he normally he's in, like, what, like, not another teen movie. Yeah. And he's always just, like, the heartthrob funny, like... Heartthrob comedic. One, one-liners. Yeah. What, what was that one movie with, uh... What's it called? Like, Jeffrey D. Morgan was in it. Well, damn, back you, you didn't even think about it. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> any movies of Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I forgot what it was called. Um, yeah, 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 get back to me, Jake. Get back to me. But Fuck Ethan. Yeah, uh, MCU, I feel like we talk about it every few weeks on here. Just, uh, it's not uh, it's not what it used to be. And maybe it's just because we're growing out of it. And then maybe the next generation will enjoy it. Yeah, but it's definitely not then, the reason, no. It's not they the just, reason. They just suck. Oh, okay. It's, it's, like, make a Gambit it's like Star movie. Wars. You have to, I was trying to be nice. No. To love it, you have to hate it. I guess the so. losers. There it is. There you go. Thank you, Jacob. A 2010 so, movie. So you're my favorite Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. There's but yeah. that is the MCU. And no, you know what? We need to have a Gambit movie, but not with Channing, Channing Tatum, Tatum ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marvel also premiered the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer, teaser trailer. Oh, I didn't watch that. Do you think it's good? Do I think it's good? The trailer or the movie? Trailer. Oh, the movie's not out <laughs> yet. <Okay. laughs> Based off the trailer, um, it was a teaser trailer. I had no idea what the plot is or what's going on. Yeah. It, was just, it was just cool the, shots. What gets me with that one is like the reaction video I saw. Yeah. They were just like hyping it up, and I was like, what, the f- what was this? Happening, yeah. Like, like, did it get you excited when you watched it? In a way, no. I'm kind of like, okay. Paid actors. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I get why you're hyped because, you know, it sucks. They're going to have to do a drastic change because of Chadwick mm-hmm. Boseman. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, but it's just like, you can't just hype it up because of that reason. I don't know what, I, I, I watched it that one time and I was like, I don't know what's going on. I guess it look it looks like Black Panther. Looks kind of cool, I guess. All we could ask. <laughs> <laughs> All we could ask. <laughs> all, yeah. Um, yeah, but overall, very underwhelming. 
Um, what do you rate it? <laughs> on the Gavi meter. <laughs> on the Gavi meter? Um, the whole movie just on the teaser trailer? <laughs> I think uh, we're... It's fair. <laughs> Paul, you're the you're the DC guy. Oh, um, yeah. So do you think the DC extended universe is on the rise while the MCU's on the decline, or do you think the DC... I think, like, half the actors are getting locked up, the <laughs> other <laughs> half are getting kicked out. Like, no, fuck no. Well, do you think uh, Dwayne Johnson's Shazam has a chance to kind of jumpstart the universe? I think Warner Brothers just needs to back the fuck <laughs> off because they're ruining everything. They're cutting up all these damn movies. Now you're going to get me on a fucking rant. Okay, let me hear it. So they're cutting up all these damn movies, right? Zack Snyder... Uh, I can't get into Zack Snyder because... I'm not going to... Because you're tied legally? Okay. Yeah, don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to say something. <laughs> Anyways, um... I, I have I'm looking forward to Black Adam. I just don't want it to be The Rock. I want it to be Black Adam playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want him to be his stereotypical. Just you guys mentioned it before, where it's like when you get Kevin Hart in a movie, he's playing Kevin Hart. When you get The Rock in a movie, he's playing The Rock. I want a scary, menacing villain like Black Adam. He's a cool character. You can go toe to toe with Superman. So I want it to to um. Um, <clears throat> I want him to like be represented well. Technical difficulties. Um, yeah. so what I'm thinking of is uh they, they're having um, what's his name, Doctor Fate? Yeah. Which I'm really happy. Pierce that, Brosnan. Yeah, I'm happy that he's in it, and I'm happy that Hawkman's in it as well. So I want to see what they do with those characters. Um. I didn't watch anything about it, though. Did anything come out? And I didn't even know San Diego Comic-Con was happening. No, uh, Dwayne Johnson was just there in full costume, kind of promoting the movie. Oh, was he? Yeah. I think he he looks he fits it. I mean... I The thing for me is I'll never be able to look past Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, because he has no hair. <laughs> well, I guess, but... <laughs> he had hair in Injustice, too, so... That's, that's what <laughs> I was getting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's just like when I look at him, I just see Dwayne Johnson. It's going to be hard for me. It's the whole thing of making these big actors play these roles because that's all you see is the actor. You don't see them, yeah, the but character. I, he, he definitely fits. And then it goes back to like, when you look at DC from like your perspective, Henry Cavill was not a big name until Superman. I'm like, man, he's perfect for it. Mm -hmm. Then you got, see, they did the opposite. Then you got Ben Affleck. You got Gale. You got freaking, um, what do you think of Momoa as Aquaman? Okay. See, <laughs> that's so funny. That's that what I was going to say. So Jason Momoa, right? Like he looks cool. I like his outfit. I like the way like they went. Like I don't mind that he's not the comic book, blonde white dude, right? Like right. that's fine, whatever. They gave him a cool background. I like it, but he's Jason Momoa. He's right. not Aquaman. He's <laughs> so what bothers me with that is like, Arthur, King Arthur is like he's a king of Atlantis. He owns like the whole entire sea, and he he rules like that. And then you got Momoa jumping out of stuff, screaming, woohooing all the time. It's like I can't take him serious to like the king he's supposed to be. Right. He's supposed to be a big leader, and I'm like, eh. so I'm hoping that The Rock doesn't do that. So that's where DC's messing up. I feel like, I mean, they have like um, Cyborg. I liked him. It's the no-name actors that are coming up. To be honest, that I, I like the best because I have nothing really to expect. Ezra Miller's like whatever, I guess. He's not gonna be in yeah, that's probably anything <laughs> anytime soon. But whole another thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just and, and DC. Can we get a freaking blonde Flash, a Barry yeah. Allen? You got the yeah. freaking uh, CW. Yeah, yeah, it's like they're... It is what it is. Not comic accurate. That bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they do a cool thing like they did with Jason Momoa. That's like, okay, that makes sense. you don't sense. like Jason Momoa. No, but I like his look. Oh, okay. Amber, Amber Heard, forgot about her. Yeah. He's hot. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, in other news at San Diego Comic-Con, what was announced is, you know how last week, I think I think it was last week, we mentioned The Walking Dead. They're making movies, right? Actually, oh, yeah, you guys, right. I don't know if you guys no, listened last week. Um, but it turns out they're reworking those movies to be a Rick and Michonne limited series. Oh, mm. I hate that. You hate that? Yes, I know exactly where they're going with that. No. Do they, they said that? They I, saw, that. I saw a post that Jeffrey Dean Morgan did, and it was like, are they, is he doing a, a spinoff movie? I have no idea. Like but right oh. here it says, uh, during the Walking Dead panel, moderator Chris Hardwick brought out some surprise guests, Walking Dead veterans Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrera. 
think that's her pronounce her name. I think one, said is it that right. Michonne? Michonne. Okay. The one that uh, Gavin, can never Gavin name loves. The one that Gavin yeah. can never name and he's just in love with. Uh-huh. Uh, they came out to announce Rick and Michonne limited series premiering in 2023. So next year on AMC. Damn. Um, it'll serve as a, a conclusion to Rick and Michonne's story arcs from The Walking Dead. Aw, boo. But I thought that was interesting because I know that they were planning a movie for a couple of years. There's like, like three movies coming yeah. out. Yeah. Um, it was when Rick got taken away in the helicopter. Yep. But spoilers. Shut up. <laughs> you don't watch it. Uh, <laughs> after. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. So after Rick left The Walking Dead in the ninth season. It's because he wants to be the family. It was annoying. announced that he would get three films to explore what happened to Rick after he survived the bridge explosion. Spoilers. Uh, however, there has not been much development on those films since their announcement. Reworking the movies into a miniseries gives a chance to tell a longer story and provide the characters with a proper sound. I hate miniseries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I just don't rant. care anymore. Like, <laughs> I just don't care. Well, <laughs> like I once I remember, Rick left the show, like his role was basically what passed on to Daryl. Eh, so now, like, no, it was actually it never, never got passed on that far. It, it, well, I, like it just kind of okay. You're right. I feel I like it just it was that it was, that, that torch that just stayed there. Jeffrey Dean Morgan um, and Jeffrey and Norman Dean Reedus Morgan. have to like carry the he show. Dropped right. the torch. He didn't hand it off to anybody. <laughs> it, it literally was that. It was Norman Reedus and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Like their two arcs, they weren't like the main arcs, but they yeah. were like, I'll give you six episodes, you get six episodes. Yeah. Like they were mm-hmm. carrying it for the most part throughout all of The Walking Dead. When Rick wasn't in on screen, you're like, oh, I don't care. When's Rick gonna come that, back? That's not true. That is 100 percent true. I like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I like Negan a lot. Negan's it's cool. Funny. Daryl was cool. I like Daryl. When Rick was there, he was way cooler when Rick was there because he was a yeah. side character. He wasn't like Daryl's arc is really cool. I became oh, like 100%. the lone wolf to like kind of protecting everyone. It's so cool. He's not even in the comics. They just threw his character in there. I know because they Norman Reedus. So yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And he just stayed. So he was the only one that everyone was always scared about. Like mm-hmm. whenever a murder was going to happen in the shows, it never happened in the comics. Crazy. <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan, though. I never saw the last. Are you still? No, I, I just watched the just recaps. Stop. I don't care for watching the show. I just want to know what happens. <laughs> okay, I get that. Yeah. I kind of respect that in a, in a way. <laughs> like, I'm not dedicating. What's an, ad, what's an episode? Like 50 minutes? 50 an minutes. Hour, yeah. And there's like oh, 13 geez. of them yeah. for one season. Oh, I'm actually uh, almost all the way done. They put season 11 are they in ending like it three or they, parts. They're ending it, right? I think so. I think this was, this was last season. Okay. Had, but I haven't watched it because it's not on Netflix yet. I think. Uh, and the movies are supposed to come out. But now they're doing the. The last couple episodes, the last set of episodes is going to be part three of season 11. Oh, is that what it is? They split season 11 into three different parts. That's okay. That's what I saw then. That's what Jeffrey D. Morgan posted. Mm. I was wondering what the heck was going on. Oh, that's annoying. I'm I'm sick and tired of these like TV shows ending in movies. (laughs) They just need to end it. Like stop Mm -hmm. doing these mini series. Stop doing this extra. Just end it. Kill off somebody. Let the cow die. Stop milking it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, like, Peaky Blinders, there's a movie coming out. It's like, I was really hoping that it was going to... I'm sad. I was sad that it was going to end. And then it didn't. And then I researched and found this movie. Now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> like, fuck, man. Now I got to wait longer? Like, just... Let me out of my misery. Yeah. I'm over it. I already dedicated so much time. Let me get my freaking finale. Yep. Um, it's just the state of all... Franchises right now, series. It's bad. Yeah. Quali- quantity. Not is quality. Winning. I blame the kids. And there's also a, another spinoff of Walking Dead coming out August 14th. Oh, is what is it? It's, it's called it's, Tales of the Walking Dead. And there's Fear of the Walking Dead. Yeah, but well, this one it looks there's like another one too. There's a, there's a yeah. like World the, Beyond. World That's Beyond. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one it says it's going to feature six self-contained episodes, so like each episode will be its own story. So it's just like Telltale versions. Yeah, it'll be like many things. Um, like Terry Crews is in one, <laughs> Olivia Munn's in one. <laughs> that, that would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> Terry Crews. Somebody who <laughs> has not watched The Walking Dead and has no desire to watch The Walking just Dead. Watch these self-contained. I would episodes. watch like one, Ever. two episodes <laughs> of Terry Crews fighting zombies. That'd, That'd be, be kind of cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's like an anthology Walking Dead series. Yeah, that's what it is. But it's it looks like, like it's only gonna have six episodes, as far as the damn first you season. miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was about to go on a rant about like well-known actors coming in, but Terry Crews can get a pass <laughs> just because it's be funny. He's Terry Crews. Terry Crews is awesome. Hasn't aged in thirty years. I know. Jeez, and yeah. he's killing zombies. I killed zombies last week. Oh, did you? I did. Okay, we'll get into that later. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to say it. Okay, then say it. Is that your story about the retirement home? 
Oh. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. See, hey, you see what he did there, Ethan? Oh, I did God. see what he did Pretty there. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, he did. Take notes right. from your older brother. That's The Walking Dead, guys. My favorite Kessler. <laughs> um, and this is the part where we get into the movie review. But we're not getting into the movie review because I'm not letting Gavin get out of reviewing Brokeback Mountain. Nice. So uh, next week or whenever Gavin returns, we will be reviewing Brokeback Mountain. So if you haven't seen it yet, then uh, go watch it so you can listen to our in-depth review Woo. of Brokeback Mountain. Spicy. With Jake mm. Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger. So Before they were Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger. Yeah, that's true. Before they were that, they had different names. Mm-hmm. They had a claw to the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had a claw. <laughs> um, all right. With that being said, let's jump over this movie review and get right into the static. Welcome to the static. Beautiful. Mm, All right, cool. Cameron. Uh, what is it that you do? Because you got a lot of holes in your arms, and I'm kind of worried about you. I do have a lot of holes. In my arms. <laughs> That's why I wore this flannel. I wanted to cover them up. Uh, no, I'm not a drug user. Don't that worry. That's what it sounded like. Sorry, <laughs> tracks. Okay. I just got certified as a phlebotomist this morning. Whoa! Oh, congrats. Nice. Yeah. I don't ever want to see you. So uh, yeah. Was a, <laughs> wasn't a painful three weeks. But Can you explain long. to people who don't know what that is, what it is? So phlebotomy is literally just taking blood. I'm the guy that if you need to come oh, into Snore Quest, I'll take your blood. What about mine? Do you like my veins? Yes. Look at mine. Nice. Yes. Pretty great, huh? Good veins. Phlebotomist Thanks. approved. <laughs> yeah, same. Put that on my resume now. You yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> same. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, is there a specific reason you wanted to do that? Yeah, I think it's a really useful skill. I just wanted to know how to do it. Oh, oh okay. he's preparing for the zombie apocalypse for <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Definitely. Damn, um, dude. He's no, just like poking people. Yeah, I think... Uh, and it's just cool. He's twisted. Over the past few years, like this guy. Cameron would donate blood and plasma, so he'd always have these marks on his arm. Yeah, I've always looked like a heroin user. Yeah. <laughs> but for a good reason. Yeah. Wait, so so you're not afraid of needles? No. I would hope not, damn. I'm a, I'm a virgin to needles. You've never... I've let never, me take your blood, never, Ethan. Unless it was like a shot at the doctor's office, but I've never... Had blood drawn or anything? So oh, Ethan, I'll make it perfect. I have never had blood I'll make it perfect. drawn. <laughs> yeah, let me do at it all. At That's all. what I'm saying, right? Ever? Thank you. Ever? I don't know my blood type. I'm, I don't oh. know my blood type either. <laughs> I'm a. I don't know your blood huh, type. I'm no. O. What's the What's the universal one? Positive. Are you a universal donor? O positive. Mm-hmm. You're O negative if you're a universal donor. Yeah. Meaning you can give blood to anybody else. No, I'm actually O positive. And the O negative is the cool one. Um, I was yeah. like, not as cool. O negative <laughs> is like the really useful one. That's the really useful yeah. one. O positive is good for what? Like everything that has a positive? A positive, uh, I think AB so. positive. AB positive can take everything, I think. I, I think I was yeah. really cool. I got to figure it out. I was I'll, my mom. I'll Paul, text can, my mom. Paul can take it all. Whoa. Um, hey, mom, what blood type? So something very, <laughs> <laughs> you're actually texting your mom. Yeah. <laughs> well, I said hi while you're at it. Jacob I doubt mom. my parents know my blood type. No way. I don't know my blood type. Well, after all those years of giving blood, you know your blood type? No, that's like, Isn't they make that? fun of you for asking that question because they have no idea of knowing. Well, like, not testing that. Oh, damn. What do you... Do you have to just go out your way to test What are you that? donating blood for? Kind of, yeah. Wait, you can oh, buy wait. kits online, though. Wait, 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 wait. So you don't know your blood type, but you're donating blood? No, I'm donating plasma. Oh, well, he said blood. That's why. Well, didn't she used to donate blood? No. Oh, no, it's plasma. I've donated right. blood, okay. but... She said, hang right. on, let me check. Yeah. Right. When you donate plasma, you get your blood back. She, right. she said, hi, baby. Oh, hi. Right. <laughs> um, well, something very similar between Cameron and uh, Paul is they used to work around uh, the elderly. Jerry's. Got to love the Jerry's. God bless them. That's what you call them? Geriatrics. Geriatrics. Oh, geriatrics. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jerry? Um, I'm sure there's some named Jerry, you know. Paul, have you ever told a story of when you used to work at the... I think I mentioned one? that I was security once. Yeah. That was like in the very first episode I was on. <laughs> no stories, though. But that I was don't li- think so. So tell... I don't let's, think let's hear. Let's hear one of your... You want me to go? Before yeah. him? Whichever one. Do you I feel like yours is a good segue Take it away, security. Oh, shoot. Oh, you want to... You guys want to know about Bobby? <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> OG Bobby Johnson? No. Um... <laughs> Damn, so I was security, Give right? Just a little background of like your daily routine. My duties. Routine, See, duties. I was in the yeah. shower before I got to this episode, and I was like, I'm going to talk about this. And it was part of uh, my duties were, was the first priority. You're so prepared. I love it. Thank you. So I would go in at like 9. Um, I'd relieve the front desk. PM. PM. Thank you. That's very important. And they would go over like, hey, this is what happened today. So-and-so fell. 
do a check on this person. Like, just my, my duties. Yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. So at 9.30 now, so they leave. I'm by myself. And then you see some of the caregivers leaving, whatever. The place starts dying down. It's a bad word to use. But, <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. But at 9, 9.30, I would have to do this thing called door check, right? And so there was probably about, I'd say like 200 residents there, you know. So every single person in their room, they had this little magnet on their door. And it would have their room number, and it would just say, like, Thunderbirds, you know, living, whatever. They're this was, like, a minimal assisted living, right? Or Yeah, so where no, I, where I worked. No, yeah, so where I worked was independent living. Gotcha. Okay. And then there's some there's a different wing unit that was, like, assisted living. Then there's, okay. like, memory care on the bottom of that. Cool, cool. So I didn't mess with those. They already had people there. But so for the independent living, they would have these signs. And at 9 o'clock, they were supposed to, 9 in the morning and 9 at night. They're supposed to throw the, the signs out. At 9 at night, to throw them out. And that just shows... Us like okay, they're fine. No one fell. They're alive. And then in the morning at nine o'clock, they would take them in, and then same thing. Okay, fine. They're they're good. No one died. And so, my job being security was at nine thirty. I had to go check these room door, like these rooms. So I had to print out my sheet, and then I had to lock the front door, and then I would chug along and check two hundred and some rooms every night. And it was the most scariest thing in the world because I'm by myself in an old folks home that's creepy and like run down almost looking and like hallways. It's built for a scary movie. And so I would have to walk in and the very first girl, oh, I forgot her name, but she would never put her damn. Was she naked? Oh, I wish. We made it so much better. No, it was worse. So she would never put her, her, her magnet out. And so I remember like my first couple times I would, I, I'd knock. You have to knock. That's what sucks. And then they're deaf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm like Friday two, like banging on that freaking door of my foot. I'm knocking, yelling out door check, nothing. So then I get my keys and open up the door. And then I'm like, knock again inside as the door's open. It's dark in there. It's creepy. I'm like, hey, door check. They can't hear shit. So then what you have to do at that point is you have to go in there with your little flashlight and you have to go look and make sure they're breathing. It's <laughs> And scary, dude. It's like the worst. I was so pissed off. It was the worst part of my night. And so the very first lady is a 101. Never put that shit out. I'd always knock. And I remember the first time. Oh, room is that the room number? Okay, I was like, she's 100. Oh, no, my bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. It's the room number. I'm on a tangent right now. So I would open the door and I'd be like, room check. And I remember she was like, who are you? And I was like. Paul, <laughs> are you okay? It's like, who? It's like security. Get out. He's just going off of me. It's like, well, put your damn sign. Like I was yelling at her. This is like the first week. <laughs> I was yelling at people. I have an issue with my work. first week, dude. So that was her every other night and to the point where I got so pissed. I would just like knock, open her door and she could see the light go in. And she's like, who are you? And then I would just like grab her sign, shut the door and just, I was like, shut the fuck. I was pissing me off, dude. <laughs> So I had different things like that, right? And it's scary because, like, I've walked in. I have videos, damn. <laughs> of, like, walking into scary rooms where it's just pitch black, man. Like, they don't train you for this shit. And, like, if I see a dead body, what am I supposed to do? I don't even know the protocol. I, I never even knew what to do. I, I never found anyone, so we're fine. But so that, that was, like, the main duty at 930, right? And then after that, it was just fuck off time. Like, every two hours, you go check the premises, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So throughout that time, I would see nurses leave. Sometimes some people would come out, drop off medication. I would call them, whatever. That's when I watched a lot of Naruto and, like, all my shows. And so this one girl, this one lady, her name's Bobby. I'll never forget Bobby. Freaked me the fuck out. So I'm, I'm, it's at night. It's all dark. I'm chilling by myself. I got my feet up. One in the morning. And then I hear this, like, these footsteps come down. And then it's Bobby, this woman. And she's like, hey. By the way, we have a piano, like, in the main room. And she's like, hey, um, the, the guy upstairs told me to come down, and he wants me to play piano. I was like, what? He's like, hey, the guy upstairs, he keeps telling me, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Like, dude, she was losing it. And I felt bad. Like, I'm not trying to be a douche. But she was losing it. And she's like, yeah, he wants me to play the piano. And so hearing that for the first time, I was like, who the fuck is this? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> and so she would, like, come down and sit and wait for this guy. Because she was going to play piano for him. And she would do that every other night. And she would sit in the lobby and just, like, stare. And then she would, like, I'd be like, no, there's nobody here. Like, you can go back. It's fine. I'd walked her back the first night. And then I realized this was an ongoing thing and that she needed help. So I would, like, leave notes. Like, hey, we need to figure this this out. 
He never did anything. So every other night, it was just like, Jeez. dude, it would freak me out. Like, I think I have videos, man. Like, like I'm just not yeah. paying attention. She's standing there. And just a little old lady. Like, Bobby's at the piano again. Bobby's at the piano. Dude, <laughs> Bobby's at it again. I was like, she needs to be an assisted living. So she would come down. Yeah, this man, he's 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 coming through the walls, and he's telling me, you know, I have to play these. I'm like, what the <laughs> oh, f- Well, boy. that sounds scary. Leave me out of it. Dude, I was pissed, <laughs> man. Was it here in the valley? Yeah, it was on Thunderbird. Thunderbird Senior Living. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so she was like the main one. She would come down, and they're just a bunch of characters, bro. Like... <laughs> It was ridiculous, man. <laughs> like, th- some of these old people just don't sleep. They have nothing to do. There's a dude who, like, took, like, a hundred steps to go, like, two feet. He was like, <laughs> I just sent you that. <laughs> dude, oh, man. So, this guy. Oh, fuck. I, forgot, I think his name was Brian. So, he, he's, like, an older dude. And, and, like, he has, like, this cane. And he kind of, I can't make it fun of these guys. He walks super slow, let's just say. And so, one night, I just had my feet up. And I had the, the doors locked. And I keep hearing, like, a, like a click. And it's like, click. And I'm like, what is that? I'm like, whatever, nothing's going on. And it gets closer and then closer. And it takes like five minutes. And then I look at the glass door and it's this old man. And he has a little cane. He's just so slow. And I open the door. I'm like, dude, are you all right? And he's like, yeah, this fucking place. I don't want to get the fuck to my room. He's just cussing, going off. I used to be an architect. I don't know why the fuck they designed it like this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, it's two in the morning. What? Let's go. Like, come on. So I had to walk him back to his room. I take him to the elevator, and I'm assuming he knows where his room's at. He walks the opposite way, and if you walk the opposite way, it's about like a, a lap on a on a like a a track. Mm-hmm. And so I get a phone call. <laughs> I dropped him off at two. I get a phone call at five in the morning, and he's like, "I can't find my fucking room. Where the fuck am I?" I find him on the opposite side of where he needs oh, to be. So God. that poor guy was just slowly walking to the yeah, wrong place the whole night. The whole oh, night. That sucks. And I took a video of him too. It just came up in my memories. I know. <laughs> I sent that to you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then another thing that sucked for me was um, we had to do. Oh fuck! Um, they had those life alert commercials. Mm. They actually had those around their necks, so I had a beeper, like a pager. Audience that doesn't know what those are. They're like these little <laughs> things where like they go off and they they notify you. So it had their number on it, and sometimes like they would just go off randomly. You have to go and reset it, but most of the time is when they fell. And uh, <clears throat> this one time, this dude fell. He was about three hundred and like fifty pounds. His new guy. And every time they fall, we're not a, we're legally not allowed to touch them because we can mess up something even worse. So we, our job is to call the firefighters. And they would come out, and they'd pick them up, check them, see if they're all right. And those motherfuckers hated me. They hated all of us, <laughs> Wait, dude. The, the, the firefighters. firefighters. Dude, they would get so pissed. Like, like they'd send two guys to go talk to them, and then, like, I would talk to, like, the main guy, like, oh, why aren't you picking them up? I'm like, first of all, he's 350 fucking pounds. He's taking two of you (laughs) big-ass firefighters with with bands and shit. Legally. Yeah, yeah. and legally, the second part, legally, I can't fucking touch him. second part. (laughs) Oh, that just bothered me. Because he was like halfway in the shower, butt-ass naked. (laughs) (laughs) Totally fine. Like, I don't care. But, like, I gave him a towel. And then, like, this dude was, like, harassing me by, like, not picking him up. And, like, he had the two biggest fucking (laughs) six-foot-four, like, 250 (laughs) Like, dream firefighters in there. I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I don't know, nobody. <laughs> like, what, are you hiring? Like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So they, they would go off on me, dude. And then there's this one guy. He would fall, like, every single night and multiple times. And I used to hate it because I would see him on the ground. He's like, oh, fell again. I'm like, dude, you have, <laughs> like, you're so optimistic, but you have no idea what you're putting me through, you bastard. <laughs> And so oh, then I, I'd, have to, I'd have to sit there in his underwear and whitey tidies and talk to him. And then <laughs> sure enough, the same fucking guys would come out pissed off because I woke him up from their damn nap. And I'm like, dude, it's, I can't do shit. Yeah. And then this, this one lady, she was like, like naked, right? She fell. Big. Her name was, her name was Patty. <laughs> she was huge, man. She was like six, four, like just, oh just, my just God. big, Dang. not, not like, like fat, just like yeah. tall and like. Just had the old old lady body, you know what I mean? And so she fell, and I was like, "Fuck, I can't, I can't get you up at all." So, so she was naked. She was like coming out this thing. I was like, "I had to get you a towel, girl." And then so, I called the firefighters, and then they come, and these guys are cool. There's a couple of cool ones, and um, so I'm there talking to them, and I, I'm supposed to stay in the room to make sure everything goes fine. And the whole time she's getting picked up, she's like naked. She's like staring at me, and she's like, "You like what you see, little man?" I was like, <laughs> "What?" 
oh, and then okay. they were like laughing and then she's like you want to come help and they're like they were cr- the firefighters are cracking up dude they're like you can go bro if you want i was like thank <laughs> god man this is the most awkward thing ever but i was flattered at the same time <laughs> that's yeah. funny you like what you see i was like oh no <laughs> fuck no how old was she about like eighty seven. Oh Dude, my no, god! They, these these are old, the like old, like nineties, yeah. and some yeah. of them like their skin. You can just like you touch them, and they're gonna break. Like some of them are so like bony. It's like I I didn't even want it. I was scared. Yeah, and it was, it's hard getting old. And then they had some fun. floors. It's hard. Getting, <laughs> they had some floors that were wooden too. Oh, that's so stupid. Because like they just slide. I would low key. <laughs> I would right. I would low key right. help people. Though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not liable anymore. So I would help them up, and like. Just so I don't have to talk to the fucking firefighters. But yeah, man. Fucking Bobby. These damn people just falling all the time. Dude. My boy, my boy Philip. He fell a lot. He passed. Felt bad. Aww. Yeah. Rip Philip. He was cool. And then yeah, there's a naked dude one time too. It sucked. His name was Alan. He was a cool guy. But he's butt ass naked. Wiener <laughs> out. It was very uncomfortable for me, and I was like, "Fuck, dude!" And I had a, <laughs> I actually helped him up because he was so so like frail and yeah. tiny. Pick him up. I remember I had to help him up. I was like, "Gosh, damn, man!" Like his, like trying not to look. It's all yeah. awkward. I'm like, his ass is just like right next to me. Like, <laughs> Fuck, dude! Like I know the feeling. Oh shit! Speaking of, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Cameron, you want you want to get into your previous job? Well, before that, um, I also worked at a retirement home. Uh, I was a server, though. Oh. Yeah. So you don't get tipped as a server, nope. which is fine because you make, like, minimum anyway or whatever. But, like, if you get, like, an asshole person, mm-hmm. like, what do you do? They come, they're come, they coming for breakfast tomorrow morning. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? You're going to see them again. Yeah. And every time I do deliveries, like, I kid you not, I'd see at least, like, one naked person. Yeah, it's normal. It's just normal. Like, they don't go fuck. I'll, like, I'll even knock, and they hear me, and they'll say, come in. <laughs> and... <laughs> They're just naked. It's fine. Like, whatever, I guess. <laughs> they just don't care. That's funny. That shit sucks. That pisses me off sometimes. Yeah. Oh, shame. No I got embarrassment. Used to it, <laughs> Do you have any kinda cool. uh, stories kinda that ass. kind of... Yeah, admin kind of got pissed at me one time. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how it happened, but some of the residents found out I played the piano. And, like, oh, they're, Bobby they're, did? <laughs> yeah, Bobby. You were the yeah. one. You were the Bobby's boy? <laughs> you were there the whole fucking yeah. time? Yeah. And so there's, like, a piano in the lobby, and it's probably, like, the same yeah, as Same thing, yeah. Yeah, and, like, I'll just go and play on my break. Like, no one's around. But, like, someone heard me or whatever, and they came up to me. This was towards when I was going to quit. Mm-hmm. And uh, they asked me if I could, like, give them, like, a concert. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, just catch me on my lunch break. Yeah. And so, um, and I just told, like, two or three people about it because they were, like, yeah. at the table. And so a couple days later, I go to my lunch break, and there's like 50 plus people around <laughs> oh my God. waiting for me to give them this mini concert. And so I did. Yeah. I killed it. <laughs> they loved it. That's actually pretty cool. But admin got really pissed at me because uh, they said, hey, dude, you're an asshole. You're interrupting bingo. Because <laughs> all these people were focused on me. And I just, just picture the, the admin. You're an asshole. You interrupted me. Because they had like the bingo tables yeah. out and everything. And I think some of the residents, they just like move the tables out of the way just so people could sit down <laughs> like, near the piano. That's kind of badass. Yeah. It's pretty badass. That's kind of funny. Made yeah, me feel funny. good. 50 people showing up. I'm like, That's hey, crazy. I'm doing this for free. Normally you got to pay for this. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's way better than bingo. I and liked a lot of the residents, though. It was a fun job. Wait, did, did they they have stuff like that for them? Like, like little concerts? Uh, yeah, I'm sure they hire like. Cause we, we had a we had a stuff. driver who was like guitar, mm-hmm. played guitar and stuff, and he would come once yeah, like a I've month and people like that too do stuff. I'm surprised they got mad at you for that. Yeah, that's because he interrupted bingo. I interrupted Paul. bingo. That's, that's like why. A sin. <laughs> you know what? You don't interrupt bingo. You're kind of an asshole for that. You know? <laughs> I think about it. Um, that was my first experience with old people. That was my first job. How long did you do that? Um, had to be like, I don't think it was a full year or it might've been, I don't know, around a year, I think. And then I got a job at a home healthcare agency in Sun City. Mm, so that's, <laughs> that's old people headquarters yeah, right there. Everyone's naked around that bitch. <laughs> I started my, are they really? <laughs> oh, okay. noted. Yeah. <laughs> My healthcare career started by emptying colostomy bags, if y'all know what it is. Oh, are. nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's very glamorous. Very fun. 
And then uh, I met my guy. You know, you know who he is. I do know who he is. I'll say his name. His first name's Don. <laughs> He's a good dude. He has since passed away. Rest in peace, Don. Rest in peace, Don. I was hear so many stories about Don. Yeah. <laughs> God, no, man. <laughs> how long? How long were you with him? So. Oh, you're like his personal, like. Yeah, he hired me privately. Oh damn. Yeah, he really liked me. Um, I was with him for like two years. Yeah. Dang. It was a long time. Were you and in his will? Just... No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't. Right, he got pissed. <laughs> well, you clean up his shit. How old, how old so. was he? He was 91. 91. Damn. He was a stroke uh, patient. Aw. So. so he was. Some cognitive impairment, but for the most part, like, you know. Yeah. Like, he would enjoy life. Like, that was the important thing. That's cool. How long were you with him a day? From 8.30 to 5.00. Damn. Oh, yeah. shit. Every day. Your life I, is his life at that point. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why it's so draining. It's yeah. not that the work is necessarily, like, hard. It's just so exhausting, like, living somebody else's life, no mm-hmm. matter how old they are. Yeah. You know? yeah. You got to snap yourself out of that and go home and try to hang out. Try yeah. to play bingo Get by yourself. Go back bingo. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, though. That's crazy. He, it was, like, five days a week? Yeah, he yeah. spent his days... Go run the train, the Sun City uh, oh, West oh, Model oh, Train Club. Represent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, Thomas the Train was what I was going yeah. with. Go run a train. Pretty cool man after a stroke, dude. Yeah. 91 all... years old? 91 after stroke. Kind I bought him a piano, out. too. You did? I literally bought him a... I went to this uh, estate sale with his daughter, and we found this upright. It was his really old was piano. His daughter was... His daughter. Like, yeah, his daughter, his daughter, his daughter was my coworker. Oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, it was like $100, so I got him this piano, and it's still in his house to this day. Oh. And he didn't even leave that in, in your will. <laughs> Technically, it's mine. I can go take it if I want. But. <laughs> just show up. I figured I'm, I'm here for the it. piano. <laughs> yeah. Took care of him for two years. It's mine. I wanted to bring it to my uh, high school, but. Oh, damn. Damn, you're just a nice guy, huh? You just take care of people. Here's 100 bucks. Whatever. <laughs> damn. Um, I don't got any room for it. It's kind of cool. And then you went on a road trip with Don, didn't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't ever go on a road trip with a 91-year-old in a wheelchair. I'll this try to avoid not that. Sound wait, like fun. Yeah, wait, we drove. Where did you guys go? <laughs> <laughs> Dog. We went from so Sun City West to outside San Francisco. Holy. <laughs> that's like a 10-hour, t- 12-hour drive? us, it was 14 hours. Normal. Oh, oh my 14 God. hours. Gosh. Three yeah. different hotel stops for... Oh. And what was the destination? Year old. Like, for what? We went to go. Uh, he wanted to see the ocean one last time. Damn, that's oh, so that sad. Was Damn, and uh, hey, there's an ocean in San Diego. I know, but Linda's <laughs> son is also. Uh, oh, that's his daughter's name, Linda. Oh, okay. Damn, all yeah, for the ocean. She's in San Francisco. That's cool. When did he uh, pass? Um, it's recent. Yeah, it's been like two, three months now. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was his road trip? Last year, what? It was in 2021. It was last okay. year sometime. Yeah, that's crazy. They paid me very well for it, though. And you got to go to San Francisco? Yeah. See the ocean? It's pretty cool. It's pretty. I thought you are on call like 24-7 for True. a whole vacation. So it's not really a vacation for you. No. Jeez. And he talks in his sleep. He'll say, uh, like, I have to pee. In but his sleep? In oh, his sleep. So you don't know. <laughs> so oh it's oh like, Do you have to wake God. him up to have him pee, or does he wear a diaper, or does he? he wear, yeah, he does. Did. You're like but on door check all all night. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. It was worth it though. But most days it was just watching TV with him, right? Yeah, we got pretty good towards the end though. Like we were always go, we'd go out like every day. Oh, that's just cool. go do something. That's cool. His daughter uh, bought us like uh, annual, like a you know the Odyssey Aquarium and the butterfly. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we go do that. Just, Botanical just do garden. Something. Yeah, he likes to go to uh, was it the Salt River and look at the horses. Oh, so that was fun, yeah. Sounds like a cool guy. Kind of sad. This is sad. Dude, what's going on? White noise. Tell us a funny story about that. <laughs> <laughs> All Tell the funny me. stories are probably not appropriate for us. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you just not hear? That's okay. We can censor anything that we deem too inappropriate. I don't know. Exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give Gavin. so caught off guard. He's like, Gavin's here? <laughs> it's just the stuff he would say. Especially watching old movies. Oh, He's yeah. From, okay. He's from, this man is an Iowa farm boy born <laughs> in 1930, okay? Oh, shit. So, I yeah. got an idea. Yeah, <laughs> you put it together. He's a great man. It's just the era he grew up in is... <laughs> he still lives in it. That's fine. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean... It's not like, we watch... Uh, you guys ever watch, like, the really old Dean Martin celebrity roast? 
No. no. We would watch those all Lighting the time. Martin, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> the stuff they would say just on TV it was it was fine. It's it's funny how huh? cuz it's like a different time and it's like yeah. yeah, nowadays that would not slide. Canceled. Yep. Don, what a guy. Rest in peace, Don. Rest in peace. You know what's kind of cool since we're talking about resting in peace? <clears throat> so, I have a coworker I work with and he's been with the company for 40 years. I don't know how long he's been on his route. So when you're on like your, I think he's like at least over 20, right? Paul is a water delivery driver. Yeah. Oh. So like you get designed, <laughs> like designated like a route, whatever. And like you have the same customers you see have forever long you stay there. 40 years. Yeah. So I don't know how long <laughs> he was there though, like on that one, but he ended up like, I heard the story recently. He like, he started off there, whatever. He meets the family. He's cool with them. Like, Hey, what's up? You know, local delivery guy. And then he's like, sees the kids grow up. He sees like their kids oh, grow up. Like it's just one of those like weird things, yeah. right? And so he was like really close with the family. So close that when the original like owner of the account died, she put him in his will. Uh, uh, That's crazy. And yeah. and the family literally went up to him and was like, Hey, like, we know who you are, like we'll pay you ten thousand dollars just to not be in this, like to stick to Oh my gosh. And How he, is that? And he took that money, baby. <laughs> well, it makes you wonder what's Dang. in this will. <laughs> I, I think it was more of the principle of like it was all family, yeah. and it's like we have our water guy here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like that awkward. That's and he was just like, yeah, I'll take the ten grand. What about uh, the guy with like the claw hand? Oh, the claw man. This this dude's also been there for forty some years. Jeez. He's lit. He's got the award for the best delivery driver like in the world. Like, I'm not even kidding. It goes Dang. up against FedEx, UPS, and he won it, like, three years ago. And so he... he that's, best that's, fucking, that's awesome. That's a champ right Dude, there. Dude, how do you even measure match. that? That's what I'm saying. He got, he, he got flown out somewhere. He got this, like, special jacket made for him. He's got, like, it's one of those, like, gold jet. You know what I mean? It's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. It's one of those, the Masters. It's what I'm saying. I'm like, the PGA Tour, what's going on? Bro. Just flexing that. Did he yeah, steal best. Shooter McGavin's jacket? <laughs> oh, maybe. I got to ask him. <laughs> Dude, so so he he's been with the company for so long. So back in the day, they never had handles on the bottles. Oh, so, <laughs> so right. So they had these weird little makeshift claw things. But basically, what you would do is you would just grab the tops. And so since he did that for so long, his right hand, these two fingers. I'm sorry, you can't see audience. His his index and middle finger. Index, middle finger, and his thumb. Oh, not so much his thumb, but his index and middle finger are basically just like stuck, like in a <laughs> oh peace sign. God. Like, yeah, he's. A, <laughs> so, like, I saw him like punch in the other day, and he just like has it hanging. And I'm like, dang. And he always puts his little hands in his, in his little vest. <laughs> and his, his, like, and my buddy's like, you see him right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's <laughs> but I'm like, dude, dang. it's literally just what like, the... I think he can move them, but they're just pretty much. <laughs> 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 Yeah, dude. So we, they call it the claw. And he's like cool with it. He's yeah. not. I'm not being a dick. Yeah, man, just dude. Wow. He can't sweat in Call of Duty now. Oh man, he's. <laughs> I can't. Man, he's just. Just imagine. That's crazy. Just always carry All those, those years. I, I'm still amazed that he's the best delivery driver. I'll take a picture. and I'll send it to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> just so you guys believe it, because they have the poster up. Oh, I was like, of his hand. <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> I can add, I can try. I believe it. It makes sense to me. Best to driver just ever. like just so scrunched so, up. I feel like that's a flex. Mm -hmm. It's oh, like, oh, can you drop something off at my house? Like, it's gonna cost. Dude, me. dude, I I covered his route one time because he was like gone. Fuck, okay. man, the way he treats those customers. When like when he retires, no one's ever gonna want to go to that route. Just because he's so like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Like, he's so extra. Yeah. That's wow. why he's the best leader driver in the world. Set the bar so high. Set the bar so high. It's like, everyone's like, ah, yeah, fuck that round. Yeah. He's in Scottsdale. Ooh. So, you know, it's like, I remember I went there with these glass bottles. I put them down. She's like, can you actually put one in there for me? It's like, ah, I don't really do that, but fine. <laughs> you are paying $26 for this, so I guess I will. <laughs> I don't really I'll do that, but fine. Fine. Not hourly. So I'm not no. fucking out. Dude, that's what I want to say. I'm not hourly, so technically I could just drop it off and just take off. Uh, <laughs> Job's done. Job's done. Oh, Did you that. order water? Here's your water. <laughs> I like. I hate when I drop off the water, and then they come out after I'm done dropping off seven bottles. I'm like, hey, can you actually put that in the garage? I'm like, fuck no, I can't. But I do it, though. Do you have the pizza delivery guy put it out on plates for you? Like, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jacob, I got to use that one. <laughs> that's a good one. By the way, I'm O positive. Okay. Oh, I just, okay. <laughs> good to know. Sorry. <laughs> um, how do you feel about, or do you, do you guys have any, I'm sure you do, especially working with the elderly, of people while you're working oversharing? 
Or do you have oh, any I bet you guys over sharing? I bet you got some yeah. great stories, oh, dude. Oh, my dude. <laughs> Well, like, just like, uh, this isn't necessarily, this is like a small talk moment, but you're oversharing a lot. It was more so at the retirement home, for sure. Yeah. Just, yeah. just like, they have nothing to do. I believe it. There's yeah. people talk to. Their kids don't visit them. No, it's, it's sad. It's a it sad really place, dude. Sad. It's depressing. Yeah. That's why they're there, so yeah. yeah. I believe it. When I quit, I used to, like, I would go visit this one guy I That's really cool. liked. I haven't gone in a long time, but, like, I guess she thought I was, like, 21 or something. So I went to her, like, you know, her little apartment. And I say, hey, do you remember me? And she's like, yeah, come in. Let's have a beer. And so I'm sitting there. I was 18 at the time. So I'm just sitting there (laughs) drinking a beer with this old lady. And she was just telling me about how much her kids hate her. It was so sad. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) So sad. Damn, dude. Like, you set it up with the cool beer thing. And then he's like, (laughs) how much her kids hate her? (laughs) All my work stories are probably sad. Well, (laughs) I was was at the the dentist this morning. And (laughs) there was a kid in the chair next to me also, you know, there at the dentist. Mm. But his mom was sitting at, at, at the chair across from him, and she was just oversharing so much to this dental assistant that I felt bad for her. Oh. Like, you don't know when to be like, okay, that's enough. Oh. Please stop yeah, talking. Exactly. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, this is, I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> and they were waiting on the doctor to come, like, look at my teeth. So I was still, like, laying back in the chair, and the person who was working with me was like, oh, do you want to sit up? And I was like, no. That <laughs> 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 yeah, means I'm, like, actively uh-huh. looking at them. Like, <laughs> just leave me here. Yeah. It was just, it was just so much. Of, Example, what was um, she saying? What's yeah. she talking about? Well, the kid, ha- the kid has braces, and apparently he's also autistic. And the mom was saying how the autistic community was just berating her for putting braces on him and saying like, "Oh, he'll never be normal. Stop trying to make him be normal." And like just all this stuff. Whoa. Yeah, I would stay down too. <laughs> and it just escalated from there. So if that's the the mild stuff. It just escalated what more. To- what a toxic community. And then, <laughs> Tautistic. And then, and then she's like, and my sister, she gives the worst advice. She thinks she's so much better than me because she adopts foster children and that, that she's this perfect family and she just gives me so much shit. And I'm like, and then the dental hygienist working on this kid's teeth is like, well, you just have to do what's best for your kids. And like, she kept saying that, oh. just, just kind of rewording it. Uh, but I was like, oh my gosh, you're oversharing so it's much. Ra- it's just a rant in public. It's, yeah, and it's like that's it's awkward. A, it's a, all, it's akin to like PDA. Like it really yeah. is. I don't know. It's an uncomfortable. Do you, do you have anything like that at work, Jacob? Not like anything serious. Mm-hmm. It's well, I wouldn't even call it like oversharing. It's just stuff that's not necessary. It's yeah. to the annoying yeah. like, part. <laughs> like for me, like when like I, I don't need to know that. When I answer the phone, that's what it is. And mm, like, you know, they're like, "Oh, hey, my name is blah blah blah. I have a suit to pick up." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, it's it's ready whenever, you know, we close at 7." That's all the conversation needs. It. <laughs> but then they go on and they're like, "Okay, well, you know, I have a I have a dentist appointment. You know, <laughs> I got to go pick up my kid from school. Um, so if I go at like 5, is that okay?" I'm like, well, we close at seven, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, They're like okay. Well, I'll try to do. Maybe I'll drop off like the groceries <laughs> at just, home first, and just then keeps I'm like, going for long. <laughs> like I don't need to know your plan. <laughs> I'm you not know. hourly. <laughs> Shit, uh, you're not. Those not. conversations are so funny, especially when they're like, "Oh, I need to pick up. Can I pick up tomorrow?" Like, no, it's not going to be here tomorrow. But yes, it's going to be here. It's going to be here until you pick it up. It's just yeah, I don't have anything like super they're, serious. They're just like incompetent. But, um, sometimes I'll get. This has happened on multiple occasions, which, which I think is funny. Of uh, We work in the wedding business, so, you know, brides and grooms we work with all, a lot. And there's times when sometimes the mother of the bride or the mother of the – it's always the mother. The mother of the bride or the mother <laughs> of the groom <laughs> comes early, like before an appointment or something, and then she just kind of, like, tells you way too much information about the couple, and you're like, I don't need to know this about I've them. I've never met these people. <laughs> exactly. I'm about to, and it's going to be weird <laughs> exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not even going to this wedding. You're like, oh, show. these people, they've only known each other for this long you're or about something. about to put your hands around like, them? Yeah. Like, oh, they've had oh, so many problems. Yeah. They broke up, this, this, this. And okay. like, oh, like, that means I so don't approve. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> damn. Yeah. And then, like, the, the groom was probably hyping just, up the yeah, bride and shit. Just a couple of weeks ago, the the mother of the groom was like, yeah, the bride, she's she's so anxious. She's, she's like, she gets really overwhelmed about wedding stuff, so don't ask her too many questions and this, this, this. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, she just gets really stressful. And honestly, I don't know how, he, how she's going to do with him. And did it, like, I don't know if they're going to work out. And I was like, okay. I'm about to meet him, so. (laughs) (laughs) I had this uh, this one, this one boss. I also worked at Spirit Halloween, so the 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 costume store. You know what I mean? During Halloween season, 
And um, the ones that take up like old Kmart, yeah, they take up staples and for shit. like a couple <laughs> months. That was actually yeah, one right over here, right by uh, Peter Piper. Oh, right by Arby's. I like Arby's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just had to throw that in. There. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like. So, anyways, yeah. So back to this uh, spirit Halloween. Um, <clears throat> my manager there, she was acting like a real b word, right? I bet. And like, ev- not just to me, but like everybody was was feeling it. And, like, I had some cool coworkers who were, like, way old. I was, like, 19 maybe at the time. And so, like, I had some 40-year-old coworkers, 30-year-old, 20-year-olds. And this one was, like, talking to me. She's like, yeah, you know, Colleen just being a bitch. But I was like, oh, damn. I'm like, yeah, me too. Yeah, I feel that. And, like, so so she comes back, right? And she and she's like, I'm going to confront her. She confronts her. So she's gone for, like, 10 minutes. She comes back. She's like, oh, my gosh. You know what she just said? And so it's, like, all the coworkers. Yeah. She's like... I went up to her and I was like, hey, do you have a problem with me? And she turns around from like opening up the box cutter. She's like, you know what? I'm just so horny. I didn't get laid last night. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh my, my husband turned the... me down. And then they talked for like <laughs> another eight minutes after that. And so she told, I was like, fuck, that's oversharing for sure. I'm a little 19 year old kid. Like, dude, what? Oh my gosh. Dang. So she was taking down all of her coworkers, on all of her like <laughs> lessers. That's so. She's like, I'm just so horny. Right now. My wrong. husband denied me. That was the biggest thing was her husband denied her. That's funny. It's like, damn. Only at Spirit, huh? <laughs> Target, too. Oh, wait. What? You should ask uh, Xavier. We'll have <laughs> Xavier on next week, yeah. hopefully, and he'll tell us some Target stories. Nice. Having deja vu story you just told. <laughs> I love Target. You do. You do. <laughs> you seem um, like a Target guy. Mm-hmm. I like Walmart. You seem like a Walmart guy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an insult. <laughs> I'm just get, just get all my shirts from Walmart. I know. Tell, tell, that, tell them about the, the ruined one. <sighs> so I was cleaning the house last week, right? Wearing a gray shirt, as, as always. And I got some bleach on it, and it ruined it. And I was really sad. I was like, damn, now I have 13 instead of 14. And then it gets even sadder than that, Cameron. So <laughs> brace yourself. You have 14 <laughs> gray shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> That's all I wear. That's literally psychopath stuff. <laughs> anyway, like not even black. I understand black is like no, I've but gray. These gray shirts right here. Black no, is that's weird. Black is too predictable. So there you go. Oh, exquisite. Exactly. Anyways, um, <laughs> so clean. This uh, <laughs> this shirt got bleach on it, and it gets even sadder. It was the original gray shirt. How do you know that? It's the most <laughs> They're all the same shirt. It's the most worn. Because <laughs> I had that shirt for like two years before I got all the other ones. Good. Now it's got some character in it. Like bleach <laughs> stain. Uh, Did you keep it? Yeah, I still have it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the worst part was is he sent me a text randomly. I think I was out doing something too. You, know, you were up north with him. That's what it was. Yeah. You scared the crap out of me. He's like, dog, I messed up. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like drinking probably at this time. I was like, what? He's like, I, I just cleaned my room and I spilled bleach on the gray. And in my head, I was like, oh, my gosh, on my gray suit. And I was like, wait, why does he have my gray suit? <laughs> and then I realized, like, it was a second later, I was like, oh, he's talking about his stupid-ass gray T-shirt. And I think I ignored you. Yeah, he did. But uh, I was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. It's good. It's very good. He said, dog, I messed up. <laughs> dog, I messed up. That's how lonely his weekend was. Uh, it was very lonely weekend, yes. Um, it was so lonely that I left. All right. Um, <laughs> oh. No, I was playing tricks on myself. I went to Wendy's, remember? I like that the work shirts are also gray. <laughs> I only have one gray work shirt. Can you believe that? I think believe I that. do, too. I <sighs> need more. We have gray, burgundy, navy, black. I rarely wear the burgundy ones. Get them in every color. I kind of want one. They're kind of cool. What about they navy? Are. They're very nice. I got in black, Good. though. Yes. We do. Dude. Yes, we do. It's our most iconic one, I think. Mm-hmm. That is cool. Definitely. I like the navy ones. They're cool. You guys do yeah, navy it? too. Yeah, Dang. just your standard, you know, work polo, the logo. I'd like all three, nip. please. You like mm. three, please. I want to wear it to my job. <laughs> have, have, <laughs> have a Tux and Tails merch shop like Whataburger does. Kind of sick though. Merch shop? They have that. <laughs> they have like a Whataburger merch shop that you can go to, and then Denny's started their own too. So I don't know if I'm more impressed that they have that or that you know that. God, I hate corporate well, brands. Gavin, <laughs> Gavin used to work at Whataburger, so did he? Yeah. Really? You don't know that? No, he's I don't. He's told stories about it. 
about like the bathroom and Dr. Pepper shake. Oh, Dr. Wait. Pepper shake. No, I remember the Dr. Pepper shake. I thought that was you guys just being like. Oh, because Gavin used to work there, so he knew about it. Oh wow. Okay, I heard. The, I remember the bathroom story mm-hmm. where he just left it for the morning crew. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good so old Gavin, funny, dude. Mm-hmm. He'd work night shifts too <laughs> at Whataburger. Oh, Gavin. Uh, that's so funny. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, merch shops for Whataburger and Denny's just got a new one too. Dang, that's crazy. I don't know which one's drippier. I think Whataburger. That orange. I think Whataburger is drippier. Yeah. <clears throat> this episode is sponsored by Whataburger. It's sponsored by something. And that <laughs> it's, is. Not, it's not sponsored by anything. That was an, <laughs> that's it. That was an inside joke between me and Jacob. So, um, oh, I get it. Yeah, Paul gets it. Um, speaking of Gavin, yeah, I was trying Gavin to set here. you up. I was, I was sorry, softball pitching. Okay, you. well now you're ruining it. Okay, Gavin. Uh, so Cameron, you've known Gavin since kindergarten. Who? Gavon. 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 That's how it's actually pronounced. Did you know that? I hope not. <laughs> Gavon. Well, Gavin's um, been triggered his whole life because everybody spells it with an I. Yeah. I asked you when I put his yeah, contact information. G A V A N. Gavon. It is Gavon. If, if and he, and everyone he gets, spells it with an I, who's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> true, too. Uh, exactly. He gets really mad about it, but it's like, what do you expect, Gavin? It's not their fault. Gavon. Um, Gavon. <laughs> Gaston. But you've known him for so long. I have. So why don't we uh, have a little Gavin. Love that guy. Oh yeah. Let's, let's let's shed some light on the guy. Like, what's what's some uh, what's his deal? <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, one of your favorite stories of, of Gavin back in your younger oh, youth? Gavin. We can confirm he did have the same size chest. Yes. Barrel <laughs> chested. Barrel <laughs> chested. <laughs> it's hard. I've, Shout out Gavin. I don't think I've he known Gavin he's gone. so long. It's, if he does, it's not this late. What I loved, like especially in elementary school, we'd have like like sleepovers or whatever. Gavin's house was the place to be. <laughs> like, it was the place to be nice. in fifth or sixth grade. Because you would find, like, cereal just out. <laughs> yeah. You never had to ask for snacks because yeah. they just look through the couches. <laughs> you just wake up, like, at 2 a.m. and there's cereal on the yeah, counter already much. made for you. It's crazy, oh, dude. Soggy. Room temperature milkshake. Oh. <laughs> Burn pizza rolls. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird guy, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Gavin is Shout an out Gavin. guy. Shout, Shout out, out Gavin. Gavin. Shout out Gavin. Everyone needs that wild card. Gavin's yours. That's true. Gavin's a plus four. <laughs> He's not a wild card. <laughs> He's a draw four card. It's, it's funny. I met I met Gavin freshman year of high school. I didn't become friends with him until senior year of high school. Same. He, he thought I... Same way. Wait, did. you didn't come become friends with him? No. Oh, no. Okay. With Cam- like, me and Cameron. Damn, I, I, met, I met Cameron freshman year. I didn't become friends with him until senior year. It's like either. kindergarten to senior year, you barely became <laughs> friends. <laughs> we had a break. Um, but Gavin thought he hated me, or thought I hated him, all that all that time. But it's just, it's just your resting sad face. I guess <laughs> my resting sad face. Uh, yeah, I remember I didn't like Cameron when I first met him. Oof! Because a mutual friend introduced us and said, "Oh, you guys are really a lot alike." Oh, so and you just was, automatically have like, nah, to hate I him. hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I liked it at first, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was. So Ethan's the dick. <laughs> Ethan's I know, the bad guy. I was. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hated Cameron, not Gavin. <laughs> Damn. But I called him Chad just because I wanted to get his name wrong. Did just you really? I called him Chad all of high school. In a friendly way. Like, we were still friendly with each other. It was just initially I did not like him. We had a couple classes together. That was cool. You're a petty ass. He's actually kid. the one that invited me to Applebee's yes, where yeah. I, he's actually the one that invited me to Applebee's where I became friends with Gavin and that whole group. Your bees with the boys? My bees with the boys. Apple Jacob boys. hated that. Man. Apple boys. Like, bees with do. the boys. <laughs> bees with the boys every Friday, senior year. Sometimes we'd upgrade, we'd go to Bubba's. Yeah. <laughs> oh Bubba's. I hate Bubba's. Bubba's is too Wait, loud. What? It's so loud in there. I can't oh, even talk. That's why I, I don't think I've been at the, the bar side of Bubba's in a while. Yeah. Pizza and to me, it's like the same too. thing, and it's more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan. I think their pizza's pretty good, though. Pizza's, pizza's the boys fun, is right. whack. I get silly at Chili's, so. Ooh, silly that's kind of cool. Silly at Chili's. Shut up. Bees of the boys is where it's at. Um, you got half price apps after nine. It used to be after Not nine, anymore. and then they changed it to after ten, and I don't think they don't do I don't it even anymore. think they have it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have those one dollar drinks still? Probably not. I think it's five dollars now. Whoa, It's five dollar drinks. Yeah. And they market that like it's a great deal. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Only five dollars. It depends. Beer is yeah. like four fifty. Um. So technically, <clears throat> Cameron. Yeah. Is the, is the reason me and Gavin do this podcast. Wow. Dang, Cameron. Thank Woo-woo. you, founder. Let's go. Um. Yeah. What a nice guy. That's cool. Nice to old people, strangers, starting podcasts without so, knowing. What, what don't you do, asshole. Cameron? Yeah, what don't you do, Cameron? Um, I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> oh. um, Aren't we all not a good wow, dancer? Wow, and you're modest. I don't <laughs> have a knack for organization. <laughs> you stick people with needles. That's pretty cool. My self-motivation is kind of trash. He's a music guy. He does music stuff. I am stuff. a music guy. He, he's sure. actually, isn't he the one that did the, the intro to this podcast? No, I was going. I didn't. He do was this going. One, he was going to, but he you w- couldn't afford. We went him. to Kansas mm, for yeah. Christmas when we were. Ethan when we didn't it. pay me. That's why. Did you really go to Kansas? I did go to Kansas for uh, <laughs> for a week. Did you go to Kansas or our Kansas? I don't have any intention of going back to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kansas was an interesting trip. Yeah, but Cameron is a music guy. He's going. He's working on the old fashioned podcast intro. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, that's just cool. I just found out. That's awesome. <laughs> Jotting down ideas. That's dope. I'm genuinely happy as much as I don't sound like. <laughs> that's cool. It's because you're just finding out. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm sitting next to him. Um, with the Old Fashioned Podcast, uh, it's coming soon, guys. So bear Can't with wait. us. Can't we're, wait. We're doing some revamping. Bear claw with us. Um, if you've listened this far, maybe you deserve a little inside scoop. Uh, me and Paul recorded two episodes of the Old Fashioned Podcast. We didn't like it, so now we re- we're, we're revamping it to like a different type of concept. And we've had a lot um, of technical difficulties. Yeah, I don't want to get. Are you that. allowed to say like the theme, the layout, or anything? Not yet. It's no. all a secret. We'll show you a picture later. Isn't that how they do it? Who does that? There's someone that does that. I forgot. Anyways, we have a booth at San Diego Comic Con. You should be. Yeah. Did you guys see us? Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, any anything you want to share? The audience, Cameron. Not in particular. No. Not a, nothing at all. Not even no. that thing. Not <laughs> even that, that, that thing. You have any? You have any crazy life stories? Did you get robbed in France? Uh, no. Or Mexico. But I've been robbed multiple times. Oh, where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? It uh, started with my backpack, and then it escalated to my car. <laughs> oh my god! I remember. Didn't something happen with your license plate in oh, high school yeah. too? My license plate got stolen, and switched with another one. That was. <laughs> Like really similar. Did you notice? That's so sketchy. No, like I, I had a feeling. I'm like, I swear something is different, because it started the same, like C J H or whatever. Yeah, I can yeah. only remember the first three letters <laughs> yeah. of mine right now. <laughs> I don't even know mine right now. <laughs> oh shit! And then the next one, I think it was like C J like A. I'm like, I swear something is different. <laughs> Dang, you thought there was a glitch in the matrix. Out. Yeah, but I've had. Uh, so that was like the first time my car's been, I don't know, messed with. Yeah. Second time, I lost my backpack because th- the second time was my fault. I didn't lock my car. <laughs> so my backpack got stolen. Uh, then I had my wallet get stolen. That Gosh. time, they broke into my car. Jeez. And you're such a nice guy, too. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third time, uh, I guess they just took the whole car. Oh, my <laughs> God. Did you get it back? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, what did you do with your license plate? No, I just kept it there. <laughs> <laughs> so you kept the random yeah, one? I don't know. It was like the... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do anything different. I was like that, that license plate was used to like get sure if a cop over looked body. at over and officer. Like, I know oh. this says it's a, like, to- a Tacoma, but like, please, officer. I know I got <laughs> holes in my arms. I know my license plate. Is not good. Just I swear it's mine. Let it go. Yeah, I got holes That's in my cr- arms. How long ago did your car get stolen again? Oh god, like a year um, now? Longer? A little bit longer than a year. Jeez, wild. Jeez, and just got stolen from your house from my driveway. Oh my gosh, you live three minutes away. Yeah, I live three minutes away. I know this is like a. Decent neighborhood, but <laughs> oh shit! I live three minutes. You know, away. <laughs> go check my shit. I'll be back. Damn. I don't know. It was a '99 Honda Civic, though, so it's like a prime target. <laughs> you know, a prime target. Know. What do you do? It's very desirable. It was a nice yeah. car. I really liked that car. Was it your first car? Yep. <sighs> Had a sunroof. They got them, guys. They got them. It was they just cool. Them. It was a cool car. Had a sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> Had VTEC. <laughs> Had a little spoiler on the back. There it is. <laughs> there. Yeah. It was black too. It was silver. White. Ah. Silver. Damn, <laughs> we're close. Yeah. If you mix them I together, wish. though, you get you get silver. Yeah, that's crazy. My Damn. first car was a '92 Chevy Blazer. The license plate is "Jokes on You." I remember that one. Badass. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty dope. 
then I got scared because, like, man, if I cut somebody off or do something, they're going to always remember that license plate. That's how I feel <laughs> with my license plate. <laughs> I see. I, was like, I have to be very careful on the road. It's a very distinct license plate. Mm-hmm. Do you guys ever honk your horn? I, n- I oh, never, never honk the horn. No, do my, the only, only reason why I don't. Mine's wimpy. I don't that's do that. why. <laughs> that's exactly why, bro. It's pink. <laughs> I'm better off yelling, <laughs> flipping them off. And oh, I do it. When, if, I, if someone's about to crash into me. like You idiot. <laughs> if it's like super serious like yeah. that but like yeah. if I get cut off or something I will never honk oh, yeah. oh no, no. Like, yeah. if, someone, if someone's merging in the, like about to hit me that's when I'll honk yeah but that's it I don't yeah. you don't honk it. out of anger I, it's more of a out of alert. An alert. Yeah. Yeah. alert like somebody's not moving it's been like Five seconds. Beep, beep. beep. Yeah, yeah, in my mind, I'm not angry. I'm just like, oh, I better let him know. <laughs> <laughs> Your honk go. says it, too. Yeah. I have to wait. Like, I was like, go, go, go. They turn around. They're like, like this. Don't, they get, I know. They get, all, they get all mad. I'm like, I gave and then you they five pull out a gun And then, yeah. <laughs> it's just scary. You know what I hate, dude? It's like my truck is like all big, right? And it sounds just like my freaking Tacoma. It's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. pisses oh, me man. off. Jacob used to have a car. It was a small yellow, yellow. Ford Focus oh, yeah. mm-hmm. hatchback. This is bright yellow car, like light, bright yellow, <laughs> hella bright, <laughs> lemon yellow, two door hatchback, and the license plate was a Cardinals license plate that said uh, "Tux Man." So it was a very identifiable <laughs> car. <laughs> very, <laughs> so funny. Very Got totaled. <laughs> Wait, what yeah. does yours say? Mine says "Tux Guy." Oh, I always oh. thought you stole his plate. No, so at one point we had. A small yellow car that said Tux Man, a big red van, a bright red van that said Tux Fam, and then this, <laughs> this, this <laughs> I have this uh, this uh, Scion, which is just a square box car that says Tux. The guy. one that like the hamsters jam out in. Yeah, it's yeah, not a yeah. Kia Soul. <laughs> I hate when people say, "Oh, you have a Kia Soul." No, I don't have a Kia Soul. I hate Kia Souls. Kia Souls, really? Calm down. I feel like of all the box cars, that one looks the best. Really, Kia Soul. I like I like my my Scion. It's very. Uh, Reliable. Boxy. Now it's not going to be reliable because I just said it was reliable. He never puts mm-hmm. AC on in there. What? <laughs> I always put AC on in there. It's always fucking hot. Shut up. Only I told if it's AC DC. Ooh. You still got that bar in the back? Yeah. <laughs> that you use for stuff? <laughs> that, I, that I use for transporting. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone comments on that bar. They're like, oh, what's this bar for, Ethan? <laughs> As you have like coats hanging from I it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a. I like that car. It has two hundred twenty thousand miles on it. Oh dang! <laughs> Gosh. Bro. And it's a freaking what? 2020? 2013. 2020. <laughs> Damn. Damn! He just never stopped driving. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's running right now in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> if you turn it off, it just dies. Got to set up doing donuts right now. And then I'm gonna start work, which is like forty five minutes away. So I'm gonna put a lot more miles on it instead mm-hmm. of just down the street. Damn. I, I don't see it lasting another year. You should get a Prius for the drive, the commute. Just the commute? Just I, yeah. think, <laughs> just for the commute, get a Prius. I think no. I think it, you, it would fit you. I think a Prius just fits you in general. Oh, really? You, you think so? A gray yeah. one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> With a spoiler. You had me at gray. <laughs> Any kind of Japanese car. They just do it right. I agree. I have a, I have a 92 Toyota, and it's got 180,000 miles your, on your it. Your 92 Toyota has less miles than my... Yeah. 2013. 2013. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. 20, how many miles does your car have, Jake? Uh, well, close to 170, I want to say. Yours is, yours is 2013. 2013. Yeah. Damn. We drive a lot for work. That's that's what it is. That's true. Yep. The the big red van, current, I think, has 300,000. 300,000? Okay. Yeah. That one, has uh, it ever had like anything done with it? Yeah, it has, has problems. A motor swap? Shit. ton of stuff. There was, there was a Tacoma that they made. I think it was in 03. They made the Toyota Tacomas too well. So here's the, that's the thing. <laughs> like, engineers will, will purposely, like, not make them that great. And they fucked up, and they made those extra well. That there was a thing going on. If you can drive your Toyota Tacoma with the same engine for 300,000 miles, they would gift you a new one that year. My dad had a one. A worse one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, technically, if you think about it. But it'd be free. My dad had one that year, but his engine block cracked. Because oh, they no. stole, because they stole his freaking catalytic converter. No, Dang. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> At least some of the car was left. Mine was just gone. Yeah, mine was just <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get to say goodbye or anything. So uh, one of the worst part, actually. I do. Uh, the Rubik's cube I got from Spain, which is like my cool souvenir, was in the car. Damn. And my longboard. 
and my I don't know how people blades, I don't know how people leave and my so much stuff in their car. Uh, you Dude. know what's cool about Spain is I'm actually 33 percent Spanish. Oh yeah, <laughs> shut up. 32 percent Spanish. Have you been to Spain? Never. Dog, you should go. It's so cool. Oh, I, I want to. Let's go. I don't know. But when my car got stolen, my skating career just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just one fell retired. It was gone. It got stolen too. It got yeah. stolen too. The dream got stolen along with this. <laughs> This is a question I want to ask the audience. Why do you leave your wallet in your car? Oh, who does that? That was well, actually in my backpack at the time. Okay. But it got it oh, so it got stolen at the same time. Yeah. Okay. It was an accident. Well, because even at work when I'm going to take a payment, they're like, oh, I left my wallet in the car. It's like, why do you do that? Yeah. Normally, I my wallet's on. Me. Okay. My wallet's on my person. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Mm-hmm. I don't think I leave anything of extreme value in my car. I definitely don't. Anything. I just have my, uh, my Mandalorian helmet in the trunk, but that's it. No it's one's expensive, so that is. <laughs> yeah, it was four hundred dollars. Cool, <laughs> and it is pretty cool. Yeah, no. but it's insured, so is it? No, I wish. Oh. I, should I? No, should I? <laughs> God, <laughs> there's something else, bro. Uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> damn, oh, boy. damn. Um, so no Gavin versus Wild this week. What would it have been? Sad. I don't know. We usually talk about it before one? we record. Gavin um, versus, yeah, let's make one right now. A, a box, turtle. a box jellyfish. <laughs> oh, at the Actually, same time, be kind of cool. At the same time, can Gavin get to the shore before his diaphragm stops? We will pitch that next week. So Man, right. stay tuned for Gavin, Gavin had a really wild. good gray wolf one. I just listened to that one. Versus a what? You ever heard of a box jellyfish? Oh no, I have not. Pretty sure it's the most uh, deadly, like, toxic <laughs> animal. That's the one from planet. SpongeBob, right? The box? No. I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah, Gavin. Fish. Last week, kidding. last week was Gavin versus a, a, pit bull. a pit bull. Yeah, but Gavin had a pitchfork, and Gavin won. Well, yeah, I mean, he beat well, a he gray wolf. Him with his weapons, man. I, I, he I was beat like, a gray dude, wolf with a steel chair. And now he has a pitchfork with a pit bull. Yeah. You let that thing. Here's the thing. Here's the strategy for that. Easy. You let it latch onto your arm. You're gonna lose that arm. But as it's <laughs> latched, as it's latched on, stab, 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 stab. Exactly. Game, That's set, cool. fucking match. So anyways, I was at VR, right? I did this VR thing <laughs> <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> How do you guys feel you do um, in the zombie apocalypse? How would I do? Okay, and these zombies... <laughs> Lem- this is very important. It is. What I got to tell you. Exactly. Zombies. That's what I said. And the zombies are not like Walking Dead. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they're dead. You think so? If they're like, you know... World War Z. Well, Walking World Dead. Resident Evil. Walking Dead, I would shred. I would kill oh, Rick. I'd be Negan. Whoa. If it was <laughs> Whoa. Like you. World Whoa. War Z. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I'm, no. I'm a goner in like 10 seconds. Not me, though. But... Okay, <laughs> in between those. Like, I, I, what are okay. Resident Evil zombies? I forgot. Are they like... They're competent. Mm. But they're not like... They're just like deteriorating humans, correct? I've never played Resident Evil. Um, um well, the movies... Never seen Resident Evil. Damn, well, anyways, these are the kind of zombies I face, right? All if right, they have right. the abilities of zombie land humans, zombies, I could probably just zombie. Still do yeah, well. yeah. So imagine zombie land zombies. They like they, they spread. Like exactly, face. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like they're just deteriorating humans, yeah. or it's like, oh, okay. How do you guys feel you would do? They could still run, jump, climb, and stuff. Yeah, but not very good. Okay. They wouldn't be con- like to like climb no, over like fences athletes, and stuff. No, but okay. they, they, could, they would chase it. you. I do pretty well. You think so? Yep. Yeah. Well, honestly, a zombie apocalypse in your survival. I feel like it depends on where, depends on you, where you are when it starts. Yeah. yeah. If you have a phlebotomist with you, game set. Game <laughs> over. What am I gonna do? I do mean. I start in my house or do I start in a busy grocery store? Because that's you always start in a busy grocery uh, store you know, <laughs> with weapons, obviously. Uh, no. yeah, it depends where you start, honestly. So you guys but think? I think I I do pretty good. Maybe if I was in a coma and had a little bit of a shut up. <laughs> and your best friend Shane like locked you in the room. And Shane's cool. He's a Punisher. I do like Shane. Um. <laughs> You know yeah. what I don't get about The Walking Dead, though? Why it's people like, still watch it? Shut well, up. That too. That too. <laughs> but, like, how many you gotta years? finish it. Like, in the story, how many no, years has yeah, it been? Yeah, it's been two years. By the time Carl, spoilers, dies. What? It's only been two years since the start of the Right, apocalypse. but even since, like, Judith, there's, like, a giant yeah. time jump, right? Yeah. It's just. Yep. So, it's, it's, like, what, at least five years? Yeah. You know how fast a body breaks down? Like. Pretty fast? Pretty fast. Well, they're zombies. Fast. What does that mean, though? Like, but their flesh, flesh, is their breaking. heart beating? Are they getting blood supply to the body? I have no idea. I don't think so. Nope. But I, I, that was something I always hated. I was like, why is Carl like eighteen playing a twelve year old? Well, they can do that, it. That I can forgive. I mean, that come I can't on. Do. They can't keep switching actors. Well, they do either. these big like what seem like time jumps, but it's like no, only a few weeks has passed. 
Spectrum. What? But like, if you're five years in this apocalypse, how can anything scratch you or bite you? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're pretty good. Teeth fall out. Yeah. Oh, like, that's good. So, and back to my VR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I did the, those sandbox things, right? Where it's like you put on like the whole gear and like you're actually like in it. Yeah, like a conveyor belt on your feet and you're like. No, it, it's just an open room, but oh. like, but there's like there's like a red box that you're in and it tells it you how to bounce. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And you got like these things on your wrists and on your legs, and you have guns. How big is this room? It's pretty big. Yeah. It's it's. It's so like the size of a Costco. No, oh. <laughs> that'd be pretty sweet though. <laughs> Holy smokes! That's no, it's it's pretty decent size, right? Um, and so. At the beginning, you get to pick your guns, which sucks because, like, they pick the AR first and they pick the submachine gun second, and I was four, so naturally I got two cool handguns. So, like, I could look <laughs> nice. both ways. I was like, it's yeah. freaking sick, right? And then it wasn't sick. I'll tell you why. Oh. So, <laughs> so I'm in this. I'm in this thing, right? I hate scary movies, just like all of you. Maybe you. Do you hate I, scary movies? I don't hate them. Oh, then, then you're not it. one of us. Then you two. Okay. I hate scary movies, right? So we're in this thing, right? And, and, and we're in the VR, so I'm in this new world, freaking out. I'm going to go ahead and establish right now, half the party I was with was high. <laughs> <laughs> so they're freaking out over here, and, and I just, I, I realized that in the zombie apocalypse game, I acted exactly how I thought I would act. I was quiet the whole time. I didn't communicate with anybody. But I was, like, pretty badass, though, you know what I mean? Like, I was, like, <laughs> looking both ways. I was always, like, paranoid. Norman Reedus, yeah, okay. Oh, shit, that's cool. And so, so yeah, so the first zombie comes on, scares the shit out of me. We're shooting it. And then here, here's where the issue comes, right? I always thought, like, I was like, man, I'll be, this is a humbling experience. I was like, man, I'll be so freaking great in a zombie apocalypse. I can take on any animal. I can take on any zombie. And then, <laughs> like, like two minutes into this game, I have these two, these two handguns, right? Bro, my hands are tired, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm holding them up. Dude, they're so, like, holding, they have lasers on them. Like, I'm holding sideways now. Like, like anything comfortable. My fingers are dunzos. Like, I'm just pulling triggers left and right. There are 15, 15 rounds in each. I had to switch to my middle fingers in the middle of this. I'm getting bit left and right. Dude, it's chaotic. I'm still looking around. There's zombies in front of me. I even tried to punch one. I forgot that I was in the game. (laughs) Dude, I just, like, holding these two pistols was so heavy. And they're, like, eight pounds. I'm like, damn, this would suck in real life. Jeez. So get a melee weapon is what you're saying. Exactly. God, I don't Even know. No. After a while, it's After just a while, like, yeah. You're kinda, so, so then there was a next part, right? So you get done with this. We failed, by the way. <laughs> so the next part is like we're, we're in this this uh this fucking like car train tr- uh, truck thing, and like the back's open, stereotypical, and so like they're they're running up whatever you know, and we're all facing the back and we're all like shooting. This is what I know. I was like, damn, dude, I'm pretty fucking cool. Like at the point, like like this is where it comes in with the animals. I'm like, man, if I was in a situation like that, I would just get pissed. And I found myself very quiet and very focused and very pissed off. Like, I really thought I was in, like, I was in this game. Wow. You got the headphones on. You got the music blaring. And it's, like, surround sound. And then there was a part where, like, I'm, like, pissed off. We're shooting. I'm doing so great. And then it's quiet. And then it turned into a movie scene where, like, you know, like, you always see, like, scary movies. Like, the person behind you. And you're like, well, how, how would you not see that? How would you not know? That shit happened to all five of us. <laughs> We're staring dead ass like at this empty space, and then there's zombies like all behind us, and they got us on video. We just look like like dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got attacked from behind. I was like, "Fuck, dude, I'm one of those guys. I would have died in a scary movie." Damn. So it was a humbling damn. experience, but I was pretty badass. Pretty badass. <laughs> I could do. I <laughs> thought. And then here's the thing too: is like they're throwing barrels at you, and like it, you can obviously move, right? Yeah. And it's like instant kill. And so like the way like I I moved. Like, I thought I was so cool. <laughs> thought I was so badass. And I'm, like, shooting, like, one hand. And, like, oh, so awesome. Like, Reaper. And um, then I saw the video. And I was like, fuck, I did not look cool at all. <laughs> like, I did not look as cool as I thought I did in my head. <laughs> I'll show you guys the video later. Uh, that's that's funny. But it was awesome. So, yeah, guns are heavy. <sighs> Wow. Two minutes in, <laughs> these guns are heavy, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, bro. Like I, I was like shooting like this too on the side. I was like, <laughs> anything to like not be extended. Yeah, but I look cool, or so you thought. I did because with the handguns, I got third place. 
Oh. Ooh. I only lost to the AR and a submachine gun. Some guy had a shotgun. <laughs> I would have wrecked. <laughs> the other guy had two handguns too. Yeah, I don't I don't like scary movies, but for some reason I love scary stories. Like storytelling, a scary story. Mm-hmm. Um yep. which I've been listening to the past two weeks and mm-hmm. scaring myself actually. Like I'm getting scared. I'm afraid to go to bed tonight because <laughs> I watched one earlier today. <laughs> don't stare at me when you say that. <laughs> Look at me. I watched one about a sleep paralysis With demon. With your sad face. Yeah. <laughs> um, sleep paralysis demon. Wait, what? Yeah, I watched a, a, I watched a scary story about a sleep paralysis demon. And we I'm don't like, talk about that. Now it's going to happen to me. They're scary. Yeah, dude, let me tell you all about it. <laughs> it was Bad weird dreams. because the guy had an experience of a sleep paralysis demon, like coming into his room, pressing on his chest, and then like he was able to kind of like sit up a little bit, and then it just ran out of his room and made all this noise going down the stairs and stuff. And he like let out this huge scream. So his mom like comes into his room. He's an adult, but like his mom comes into his room and was and what the scary part was is just like, what was that noise like running down the stairs? And that was the story in a nutshell. It was like 30 minutes long, but that was a story of like she was able to hear it too. So oh, what damn. the hell was it? Not a sleep paralysis <laughs> demon. <laughs> um and it happened on like multiple occasions to Bobby Johnson. Oh, he he was trying to play piano. the <laughs> trying to play the piano, yeah. running to the piano. Fuck. But uh, rest in peace. Yeah. So whenever I get scared listening to scary stories, I just put on Bob's Burgers. And that's so weird because the other night I texted you and I was like, "What are you doing?" You're like watching Bob's Burgers. Well, I was just watching it. Yeah. No, you weren't. I he was, was scared. It was oh, like 5 p.m. too. He was like, scared. yeah, <laughs> he was scared. So. I'm gonna go sit watching. on your chest tonight when you're asleep. <laughs> Give him. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! No vertigo. I shouldn't have told Jacob. I shouldn't have told Jacob. I don't have a bedroom. <laughs> Are you so, still in uh yeah. <laughs> in like the back open area Dang. like he pees on puppy pads. I have an open floor plan, that's what I like to yeah. say. <laughs> nice. Free space living. <laughs> Free space. It's like a studio apartment, but much worse. In a house. Spatial yeah. atmosphere. With roommates. I have a rolling rack for my closet. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the fucking bar on the back of his car. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have my laundry bag just in my car twenty four seven. That it started smelling like ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Jacob's making stuff up. It was always clean laundry. <laughs> it starts smelling like ass. It's like Dirty laundry in the back of a car. It was clean laundry. Down. I don't know. And it That's was the, through the months of October and January, okay? Uh, but you just leave and put clean laundry in your car? Whoosh. In a basket? So yeah. wait, you, you would walk out butt-ass naked to go change every morning? <laughs> No, OG Bobby before Johnson, I would neighbor. shower, I would go out, grab my clothes, and then go back inside. So you would walk out butt-ass naked no, and then go see. shower? <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> dumb. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like what you see, little boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Don't say that, bro. She was like <laughs> like, like, like sitting down too so menacingly. <laughs> well, she she's was like 6'4". She's probably eye level sitting down with you. <laughs> Oh I'm six God. one, um, <laughs> and she was funny with all the all the firefighters. And I found out that it was like the girl who runs it. I don't know what their what their title is, but it was her mom or no, her grandma. Yeah, she was big. Oh, man. She, she, she didn't care at all. She could do whatever she, she wants. She do whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> patty man, um, big old patty, big old patty. Six four. Damn. You like what you see, little you like boy? What you see, little I was like, no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm trying to watch Naruto, bro. You got <laughs> a bad dream. Yeah. Yeah. A bad dream. That's funny. That'll be your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Six four. No, he already has one. I do. Scary. Whew. Interesting. Well, with that being said, uh, Cameron, appreciate you joining us. Thank you very we'll much. We'll definitely have you on in the future. Yeah. Amen. And maybe on old fashioned. And maybe on old fashioned. Mm. Ooh. Uh, more details to come about that one later. I'll be eagerly awaiting. Paul, thank you for filling in for Gavin Anytime. this week. Anytime. It's um, been five uh, weeks. This is your fifth week filling in for Gavin? No, it's been five weeks since I've been on. Oh, okay. You I was thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it today. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know if Gavin will be back next week, but uh, hopefully he is so we can review Brokeback Mountain. Because I need to review it, not because I want to watch it. <laughs> He's already watched it. I haven't. That's the movie? Who picked that? Gavin. Oh, I thought you picked it. Did you I wanted Gavin it? to watch it. Well, no, he picked it, and he's not going to get out of it watching it because he's the one that picked it. So you don't want to watch it. Pretty sure I suggested it. Either okay, way, no, no. <laughs> Gavin's not going to get out of watching it. 
that's that's the conundrum. Uh, Jacob, do we have a Jakey factuality this the week? Jakey factuality is brought to you by me. <laughs> Did you know that starfish, much like the representation in SpongeBob, oh, they have Patrick. no brains <laughs> and it's like Patrick. No blood. That's what he said. No blood. No Seawater is pumped throughout their body as a replacement for blood, with the water delivering nutrients to the marine the life. Dang, is weird. That's <laughs> wild, dude. When you guys talked about the the whole mandible thing, I was thinking of like that fish with the head, like with the with the little light on its head. Yeah, I was like that guy's got a jaw for sure. <laughs> but then you guys said mammal, mammal, mammal. It's because sea life is so mammalian. It's wild life. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the ocean too. All right, well, that's all for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, be sure to leave a comment for us on uh, youtube.com slash one eyed fits, I think. I don't know. But uh, we are on YouTube. Our channel is one eyed fits. That's where we post all our content. Or you can check us out on Spotify. If you're listening on Spotify, go to YouTube and leave a comment, and it might be read. <laughs> Funny enough, last week's comment is left by Brett. Shout out, Brett. Shout out, Brett. Um, he said, on the subject of Riddlers, Corey Michael Smith's Riddler on Gotham was great. Show overall was all right, but he was one of the ones that made it shine. Him along with Robin Lord Taylor as Penguin. Um, I remember I... S- have you ever seen Gotham, Paul? Was I have a- never, but I wanted to. There was a point, where I think, where I watched the first episode. Um, it was when I was younger, so I wasn't able to like get into it. Um, but I remember the time when uh, Cameron... Forgot. Cameron's the Joker. I forgot one, his right? last name. Yeah, he, Cameron he, Monaghan. He, he, Cameron Monaghan. 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 He plays a. Uh, I think he plays. They don't call him the Joker because of like yeah. television rights and stuff. Well, like, yeah, but he Cameron, plays that version. Cameron. And uh, the, the, technically, was, they're all right. Like not who they are, but they are. Yeah. Okay. Um. But I actually really. I thought it was pretty good. Enjoyed the clips that I saw of him, and he, I thought he did a good job of making it his own without I, like. I didn't like it. I know you didn't like it. We already talked about it. Um. But the Go- uh, Gotham show. Was cool. Um, I know that it just ended recently, right? I think oh, it was in the last two quite years. Quite a while ago, I thought. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Anyways, leave a comment so yeah, we can read wow. it. Also, if anybody sees a two door <laughs> 1999 Honda Civic, what license? Silver? Silver? No, I don't know. It starts CJ. <laughs> Silver. I don't care about the car anymore, but it if has a you spoiler. can, can you break into the trunk? Get the light blue rollerblades and leave it in the <laughs> comments below. We'll connect. In the Spanish uh, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yes. Nice. If anyone has any information regarding please call the K2 this number. rollerblades in the Spanish Rubik's Cube. And he needs his VTEC. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Mm. Right from your driveway. Wow. I know. Can't can't have nothing in three minutes away. That's crazy. <laughs> can't have nothing in three minutes. <laughs> uh, well, we appreciate you for joining us. Uh be sure to follow our social media on Instagram, which is at OEF White Noise or OEF Studios. And if you really want to check out the Old Fashioned Pod, uh, check out there for updates on the Old Fashioned Podcast. So uh, we appreciate you for joining us. And uh, oh, right now we have to go break some backs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh.